So, the first variation we're going to go over is her ethereal variation. And Steve, I don't know if you've heard this. Don't talk during the intros. People get kind of mad about that. Oh, I watched the stream. I know. At OSU 16-bit if he does. Yeah. Blow him up. For sure. So, you and I... Do not even think it. You're right. You're unworthy. Round one. All right. As you'll notice, there is that beauty. She looks amazing in this game. All right. Now, um, for we're gonna go over her common moves for, uh, to start off with. Show, show, move around a little bit. Because okay, her sure. movement's just really elegant. Yes. Um, she. Look, well, we'll get into that. Okay. We got plenty of time. Right. right. So first, uh, her common specials. She has the straight side. She can ex it to do uh, double sides. She has her teleport, and of course she can do her EX teleport. She has her traditional fall roll, and uh, if I can remember how to go, there we go. Uh, and of course she can EX that. That's common across all variations, all right? Um, what's special to this specific variation is the fact that she can teleport. And she can actually uh, disappear for extended period of time. She can go forward, she can go back. So what you can do is do some fun little mix-up combos where you actually set yourself behind the player to do more, uh, more damage. That's so crazy. And it'd also be really good for running away from the opponent, mm -hmm. playing a keep-away game. Or if somebody's trying to just kind of zone you out, you just kind of hold it down and extend it to whenever you want to come back. And she has an EX version of that, which uh, hides her even faster. It's funny because we've played, we played this variation and Ermac has his disappear, so there are moments of time during the game where we just both disappear. Yes, it, it, it's pretty it's pretty creepy. And um, you'll notice her personality is very prevalent in this game as well. She likes to play around with the opponents and stuff like that, so I'm really excited to get to show it off. Absolutely. Um, and for the most part, for Ethereal, that's it. It's all about the setups with these size. Yeah. All right. This is going to be really interesting to see how some of these how people take to this this variation. Just starting a combo, going behind, going the other direction, always moving around. Right. Probably yeah. the most mobile version, would you it's say? It's definitely the most mobile and probably one of the best for uh, if someone has some good zoning attacks, some good projectile attacks, hiding from that. Mm -hmm. Then I think eventually people will have setups where they end a combo and then teleport directly behind them, or maybe right in front of them, or they don't teleport at all, and that'll be kind of a mix-up. I also like to call it the trolley variation, because <laughs> once you got a life lead, you can just keep hiding yourself and getting away from the opponent. So uh, with that said, should let's go to the next variation. Well, let's, why don't you just finish him off real quick? All right. You, you want me to? Truly. You do? Mm-hmm. All right. Girl's gotta eat. Yeah, Girl's that's, gotta eat. That's it. That's right. That's pretty much it. Let's uh, let's check out some of the other ones then. Okay, absolutely. Let's do that. Now, I've uh, we, we we talk about variations a lot, mm -hmm. and what we have seen. Go ahead and pick characters real quick here. Uh, is that Melina. Melina's everything is so different, and I've seen you play with each variation, and each variation I have to learn mm -hmm. how to combat that. Yeah. Um. We'll wait till this is done. <laughs> <laughs> You're done, Melina. You betray me too. I prefer the winning side. Round one. Fight. What uh what I do really like about Melina too is that her combos are pretty much universal. Except they get a different twist on them, right? So with uh, this version of Melina, the Ravenous, she has um, bite combos where she actually will bite the jump on them and start to bite them. And you can actually do a button input to extend that bite. Oh, I didn't do it. I missed my window. So you see she does a couple more bites to the guy, right? But in addition to that, she also has uh, some command chain grabs as well. Would you have practiced before the stream? Yeah. And you were doing very well. I was, so we'll see how, <laughs> how I do here. 100% right? success rate. Oh, so, so you can do just the normal one, and she'll just roll back, or you can oops, you can extend it with the side stab, or you can do it again 
and do a kick at the end. So depending upon where you want that placement on screen is how you're going to extend it. Or if you want to do the, the maximum damage, you're going to do all three hits. Right. right, so if you want to kick them into the corner, you could choose to do the final ender. But if you want to keep them mid-screen or maybe swap positions, you can choose to end it too. Right, and so for her other one, which is called the low pounce, uh, she'll actually leapfrog over the player, which we, we suspect a couple people are going to love to do this to their opponent. You finished matches with me with this, yeah. by hopscotching over the, me. Because it's so much fun. It's fun um, for me too, yeah. <laughs> but of course you can extend this one as well. So she'll go into that, break their arms, right? And then she'll roll away. Or you can extend it. Did I do the, oh, I did the wrong buttons. All right. We knew this was coming. Or she'll just go ahead and sit on their head you know, <laughs> and cool. just bounce them off the ground, right? And so she gets the the additional bite combo. She also gets the, the chain grabs in this variation as well. And you'll notice that she doesn't have the mask, so you can see her pre very pretty face. So th th well, this, would you say, would be a, more of an in-your-face version of, of Melina? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be really good for mix-ups. You'll be able to mix up over the fourth three overhead attack or the low grab. So when you say, uh, just for those who don't play a lot of fighting games, when you say something like mix up. Mix up meaning you have to make the opponent guess between which attack you're going to be. Maybe it's an attack that they have to block standing or an attack that they have to block ducking. So right. you're basically going to put them in a position where they have to guess what you want to do. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, so for her last variation, my personal favorite is the piercing. I've seen this one a few times. You, this is, uh, this is the one I usually play. Yeah. She looks so good. I'm excited that you're able to, to, to uh, talk about Molina today. Today's like my day. I'm right. so excited we get to fight with them. Uh -huh. like, oh, the breakdown. Hopefully all the Molina players out there will be super happy now that they get to see her. I don't see how they couldn't be yeah. after that. So. Elder Gods, damn you! The Elder Gods reward strength. Then I will have my due. Round Beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> and now with her side variation, her piercing variation, um, of course she can still do the hair size, but she also has this low split side that she can do too. So you can just kind of zone your opponent out, right? Just be like, come at me, And you have to block low yes. to get that one, yeah. Um, and of course you can EX it where she'll do an additional side attack too. Um, and also, what's special to this is she has side uh, combos as well. And just like the biting one, you can extend this attack. So she does additional stats. And then she has this one, which is kind of like a classic MK2 fatality, right? Yep. Um, and one more as well. Then she'll rip them out. And like we were saying before, you can extend a lot of this, or you can combo in pretty much every Real quick before you before you finish off Kotal, mm -hmm. um, help, help help Melina get some meter here. Oh, so we can do her X-ray. Do an X-ray, and also I, I think she has a really cool throw. Oh yeah! Wow, your Kotal is on point. I've never seen such a good Kotal. So her X-ray. Oh, bam. Take a bite out of crime. We'll go ahead and throw him to the end. Bam. Awesome. Yes. Uh, I and I think piercing will be kind of the middle ground where she has improved projectile with a low projectile. And then those side combos are going to be really good and your big damaging combos and really stylish too. Right. Absolutely. So we'll get more into Melina later when we do some fights. I'm sure you're going to see some Melina very shortly. Yeah. Um, you know this, and just so you guys know, I hope you're having a good time. This might be a little bit of a longer stream than we've done before. I hope you don't mind. Hope you don't mind. We just kind of want to blow it out and play a lot of, just play, show you some characters and have some fun. We have Steve here, plays a great katana, so just showing you some gameplay. Uh, we're 25 days out, so let's just do it, right? Yeah. Um, and speaking of just doing it. Just do it. Um, let's show another variation. A another variation? She only has three. Of a different character. Okay, woo! Okay. I was like, do you know something? <laughs> no, I don't. Um, so, now we're going to show uh, Takeda. And Steve, you'll be, uh, can you run through that with everybody? Absolutely. Cool. So Takeda fights with these bladed whips. 
And they're used in his normal attacks, a lot of his special moves. Which one do you want to start with? Up to you. Yeah. Right, we'll start with Shira Ryu. If you read the comic, then you know that Takeda grew up in the Shira Ryu, and he was trained by Scorpion himself. And you'll also notice, like, in some of his costume, there's some, there's some yellow. Yeah. So this one... No. You almost messed it. You almost, almost talked over here. Almost, yeah. almost. Almost got blown up, man. It's hard. You been rolling in trash? Respect me, human. I'm serious, you smell awful. Round one. Before Fire. we start real quick, there's also visual indicators for each of the... Yes. We kind of didn't mention with Molina, which mm -hmm. I apologize for. The visual indicators to show you, I mean, obviously it'll tell you in the top what you're playing as, but what is the visual indicator here for Takeda? His ninja mask. Good. So what, uh, let's go over his common moves All right, quick. So commonly, as I said, the bladed whips are a big part a lot of his normal attacks. He's got some of the best reach in the game. You know, a lot of these normals have huge range, so he gets to play his ground game at a very, very far distance. But he still does he still have an up close game as well? He does, and that's what's cool about him, is these whip attacks have long range, but they're a little bit on the slow side. But then his ninja training kicks in and he's got some kinda fast ninja type moves right. if you want to close the distance or if you're stuck up close. So he doesn't he's not only good far away, mm -hmm. he's pretty well rounded. So then his universal special moves, he has uh, this torpedo out. kick, which you can control the distance. You can do it close or medium or far, you can do it in the air. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of options with that. And you can use this to you know close the distances easily or you know, if you think the opponent's going to do a projectile and you want to get their projectile. Mm -hmm. Then he has this really cool ninja dagger, which you can use as a projectile or you can use it as a mix-up option. Like we were saying, you can do an overhead into this low. Mm -hmm. And the EX one's especially cool. He holds out three and you can charge it and then you can let it go whenever you want. So you can kind of hold it out. And get in there for some more combo potential. Run up to them or maybe try to threaten them and then you jump in, or whatever you want to do, and they have to sit there and be scared of the right. EX ones. Right. Then his other universal move is this combo starter. It's kind of dash punch, and it's like a combo filler move. You can do it to get some damage. Kind of like a little fist fury. Right. And the EX one is a combo starter. So can you give me a little bit bar? Oh yeah. That one will pop them up, and then you get a jungle combo. Awesome. Which that was not. That was not, fortunately. That's the first drop of the day. It surprisingly didn't come from you. <laughs> surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, all the fans are like, can you get somebody who doesn't drop combos? Yeah, yeah I uh, guess we can. We tried. So. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then what's special to this variation? So the Shirayu Takeda, he gets uh, some whip moves that are kind of inspired by Scorpion. He has a grounded one, oh. and then he has a jumping one. Now, normally they don't go into combos, but if you do the EX version, he will get a combo. Like you can see, it kind of pops up. I didn't up. see the combo. All right, hold on. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. And then, Let me see if I can real, get some more help. Oh. That will give me some meter. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Reptile X ray, just real quick. Yeah. And then the really cool thing is the quick phase, which is a teleport. Uh -huh. And it's kind of like Scorpions, you just do it, it's a quick teleport. Let's, restart? Yeah, let's restart that match real quick. We can watch another intro. We can. Yeah, let's not talk. Reptile. I will rip out your throat. Settle down. Round one. We have no sound on the TV, so that could have been the same intro. Yeah, we have no... Jen? It was different. It was All different. Right. Okay, thank you, Jen. So, normally you just have your quick little teleport, but then the cool thing is he can charge it and choose when to let it go, or he can not let it go at all. Oh, so you can cancel out of it. Yes. Great. And then the EX one is a combo starter and looks awesome. <laughs> then the air teleport are also totally different. He has different. an air teleport? He does. Uh. And check this out. Very fast and it recovers. So if they're jumping, they'll get hit. Can you uh, jump up? Yeah, I can. Apparently you can't. Okay. <laughs> but if not, the more interesting thing is you can let it miss. And then if they try to do anything, you can, you know, combo them or whatever. It's like very tricky. And the EX one is even trickier because he goes the other way and then does an overhead attack. I didn't know what was happening there. See, so even totally you didn't know what was happening. Yeah, I was lost. So he has four really cool teleport moves and the spear moves. Mm -hmm. So that's your Ryu. We should show the throw real quick. Oh, he has a cool throw. 
That's gonna sting. Alright, so should we uh, go into the next one? Yeah. Next one's gonna be Lasher, where his whips are electrical charged. And it's Scorpion. gonna be more of a long range combo heavy one. Um, you'll see in a second, his special moves are pretty cool in it. So we're seeing a uh, student versus master here. Try. Yeah, I felt it was appropriate. Nice job going canon here. Well, nice job going lore. That's good try. stuff. Yeah, yeah. I always think you're, you know, you can't do it, but every time you prove me wrong. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Pretty thank impressive. You. Very surprising. <laughs> you know. What have you become? I have returned to Quanji's service. Then the Shira Ryu are your enemies. Round one. I don't know what Scorpion said, but he seemed angry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. I've never seen really a happy Scorpion. That's like the truth. He uh, doesn't even like teddies. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't like teddy bears, but. So, I do. Lasher is all about range. He gets some really good new normals, the slow poke here. Oh, that's for, That's long. That's he long gets hell. that Fist of Fury punch move, mm -hmm. gets turned into this, which oh, has much more cool. range. Oh, man. He gets kind of a low scoop move. It can trip you up, and if you EX it, they get bounced up more. And then he gets a really strong anti-air whip, which can also be used in combos, as like a combo ender or combo extender, or you can end the EX one in a splat and kind of run up to them and mix them up. Why, why don't you show us something there? All right. Oh. Uh. Is that where you were going to go with that? Did you have there, was one more, there was one more kick. There was one more kick. So you didn't drop it. The game dropped it for no. you. Gotcha. Yeah, right. So yeah, I think this one will be best played at kind of this jump in range, and it'll be really good. I think this is another one where the combo artists are really going to like messing with it. And something you know we don't talk a lot about, um, but I think it's nice for those. You know, I know we have a lot of fans who play in terms. We have a lot of fans who are very good at the game. We also have a lot of fans who don't play a lot of fighting games, just love Mortal Kombat. And a, a term that I think is good for everyone who plays games to use is kind of what you alluded to there. Uh, it's called footsies. And like, so yes. where your character wants to stay in relation to like their longest range move. For the yeah, the, the footsies is basically you controlling the space of your character's best attacks. Yep. So a perfect example would be this character, where this move right here, this overhead, with tons and tons of range. Derek, if he was fighting me, he would have to be very wary of this move, even from this far out. Another one of these moves, and he would have to commit to doing a teleport, right. which if I don't and I block, you know, then I can punish him. Or he would have to attempt to jump in, and that's when I could use this move. Exactly. Yeah, yeah I, just, I read a lot of message boards about people, you know, who love the game and can't wait for Mortal Kombat, but they want to get better. And like that's just kind of one of those entry-level terms that once you start thinking about you'll start getting better if you just kind of understand that. Yeah, and, and footsies is the kind of thing where no matter what level of player you're at, you do it, you might just not know that that's what we call it. Right. Yep. So uh, is that it for this one? Yep. All right. Well, well but wait. What? 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 You have full meter. Oh, I think it's time for an X-ray. Takeda's is interesting because it's done in the air. Awesome. Was that necessary is my question, like the, the foot to the face after. It's his grandmaster too, his yeah. father figure. <laughs> so yeah, right? It's kind let's, of messed up. Let's, uh, let's check out the last uh, variation. All right, this one is very, very interesting. And I think the beautiful thing about the variant system is you'll have maybe one's kind of on the simpler side, it's more basic, yeah. then one could be, you know, like a, the opposite of that. And then there's a lot of these that are really, really, interesting and mm. unlike the other variants at all like it really stands out and this is one of those examples i it's, found myself well, well there, i found myself with some of my characters i'll have two that i'm really good at and now i'm kind of like well i should probably learn the third one too because you have all of this range of what you yeah can do i think there. that's going to be the really cool part of the depth of the game yep i've just started flying with ermac like because i want to learn yeah. it all. Yep, yep. i sensed your arrival because I wanted you to. I'm clearly in the presence of greatness. Round one, fight. So in Ronin, in addition to the whips, he also gets dual plasma swords. And that will change a bunch of his normal attacks. Which is something somebody would need, right? Uh, why, why not just have whips, because they also have plasma swords. Right. right. And he also gets a bunch of additional special moves. This is the only variant where he has a projectile. 
yes, kind of a beam, and beam projectiles are not something we've done in MK very often, so it's pretty cool. And he gets a projectile reflect. One, two, three, here oh. These always work out when we get this. <laughs> All right, there we go, yeah. And, and then four tries, we're yeah, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're five. We're professionals. <laughs> and then the really cool thing is he can, as you'll see, he can drop the sword on the ground. And you can choose the distance you want to drop it. And then he can kind of play his game, and at any time, he can summon it back up. Awesome. So you can kind of do stuff where you throw it down, and maybe, you know, you're trying to throw your projectile, you're trying to get those out. Nope. Ah. I wish when he dropped the sword on the ground, the person in the background just came up and grabbed it and ran away. What if the dog picked it up in its mouth and ran away? <laughs> That'd be awesome. And you can you can do full combos. Yes, the hard. EX one, he gets a full combo if it hits, and he can do it in a block string. So if meaning if the opponent's blocking and you think they're going to continue to block, that would be your chance to throw the sword out and have it active. Okay. You can use it in offense, like I said, defense with projectiles or offense. You can have it out, and then Derek's sitting there scared blocking. Oh, I'm so scared. And I can kind of run up, and go for combos or throws, or whatever you feel like doing. The world is your oyster. It's your oyster. Okay. It is. I, uh, I think oh, we're also using the uh, Master of Storms, which a lot of people on Twitter actually wanted to see. So that's cool, Derek. Nice job. Well, you know, I listen to the people. I <laughs> you really do. do. You do. Uh, you want to you wanna finish me up here? Let's, let's see what happens. Are you sure you want to show that? I think we do. We're going to do that? We're gonna do, do we want to do that? I want to do it. Oh, let's uh, do it. I don't know if the stream wants that, though. They do. They do. Finish him. I'm, I'm a little disturbed. But, but I'm That's gross. I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm even a little disturbed. That is one of my faves. Um, Woo! That was that was different. I think now we should go through some uh, game modes. Game modes, sure. Yeah. So Derek, I think this would be a time for you to kind of talk about what we have here. Absolutely. So we're gonna play Test Your Luck today. So why don't you give that controller over to Tyler? Let's see how he does. Okay. Um, and you'll know that Test Your Luck uh, was originally in MK9. Uh, or the previous Mortal Kombat, and we're bringing it back here. There are over a hundred different modifiers for Test Your Luck. Um, and, of course, you can select how many you want to have active during the match. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and get into it. Uh, I'll be uh, fair. Okay. Lackey. Going back to your grappling roots. I am. So, yeah, you can... Uh, the number default is five, but, of course, you can select five, six, seven, three, but... Whoa. No, it's just well, let's let's four. Let's do four. Okay. Let's see how four does. Once you start getting into seven, it gets really chaotic. Yeah, this is this is one of those kind of really great game types for the guys. Like when you're having you're having a party, having the guys over, and you just want to like sit on the couch and play some fun stuff. This can get ridiculous and fun. And it's just you're always laughing, and you stuff. never know what's going to happen. No, which is the best part. And the cool thing that I really like is there's a lot of mod modifiers that aren't just difficult, they actually can help you. Yeah. Right, there's like, more assist Yes, there's modifiers. a bunch of really fun assist ones. Mm. And we don't have intros to talk to. Oh, you talk don't? Through. No so intros in touch? Okay, good. Yeah, no intros. 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 <laughs> well, there's more, there's more, there's more than one. There's not more than one. There's only one. Yeah, right. So you can talk us through, we'll, we'll see what we these duties do us here, too. And they might not necessarily apply to both of you. Yep. Which is one of the other fun things. Test your luck. There's nothing to yell at, Shen. Okay, so portal combat. Portals will randomly appear. Infinite timer, which is good. That'll be fine. Uh, no enhanced specials for you. Okay, great. <laughs> and the curse of sloth. So that little skull that drops down will make one of us slow. Absolutely. All right, cool. So here we go. Ah! Oh, I was catching the combo. Oh, I'm super slow. Oh, I love you can use extra combos out of it too. Oh yeah, because it changes the grab. Oh, oh no! Oh god, right into it. Oh, and then into the move! <laughs> oh my! Oh no! And through a portal! Oh, Do no. a wake up attack. Yeah. Oh, that was badass. Rub winch. I missed. No. Oh. Come on. Ah, oh, yeah. oh, I pushed you through the Thank you for line. helping. That's right. <laughs> that is so good. Oh. Thank you, Tyler. God. You brought me to another win. That, uh, these don't count. These do not count at all. No, these our, count. Do they count? These are counting. Count. Count. Test your luck counts? It does not No, count. just kidding. It doesn't count. Okay, good. Oh. Ah. 
Yeah. Keep her in the corner. I'm trying. <laughs> no, you jumped away. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Uh, I wonder uh, if I can block this. Oh no, that was hubris. And of course you can combo off of them. You can block uh, a lot of the modifiers as well, so it's not like it's right. definitely gonna happen to you. Oh, portal killed me. That's that's a win, but not not a tournament win. Okay. Let's All right. Try. So and you'll notice you can rematch new modifiers. You can rematch with the same modifiers if you want to just run it back. Do you just want to do new modifiers? Yes, yeah, new. Okay. So we're gonna show just a couple of these matches off. Test your luck. Right, who we got here? Ooh, electric fists. So after X amount of hits, it's gonna go into electric stun. Magnetic floor. And a closer combat. Oh. And close combat. Double damage. Double da oh, you got double damage. This could be bad. If I lose this, I'm not gonna get the end of it. Yeah, probably. Oh. Oh, oh this can't be a blanche. No. Ah. I'm just electrocuting you. You can make it, Yes. Don't coach him! <laughs> All you gotta do is hit me, Tyler. Oh, there you go. Oh, no. No, do the march again. Ah! Nuts. This is fun. Like, legitimately, I'm having a really good time. I just oh. don't want to talk right now because I'm too concerned what's going on. Blanche is in play. Blanche, Blanche is in play. No, no, no. Ah. Oh, God, no. I need her. Oh, God. Farah or Blanche? Uh, it looks like both. Oh, Blanche, no! <laughs> She's like, oh, my. You had your chance to use me. Oh, Tyler, you may have to. Oh, Tyler, thanks for learning! <sighs> what's up, Farah? She's just chilling on your shoulder. I love that pose. It's kind of like a like a parrot. Yeah. <laughs> Wicked. You want to do one more? One more. One more. All right. And then we'll go into our next game mode. Mm-hmm. Which I'm gonna. I have a. I'm going to. Uh, I have an idea. All right. For that. All so. right. So fire rockets. I'm guessing those are rockets made of fire. Yes. Okay. Okay. Luckily, I don't have any projectiles. So yeah, it would have been awesome to reflect Farrah back at you. <laughs> Frost touch. Yes. All right. So here we go. So chaotic, I love it. Uh, and think about if we had eight of these mods, or seven of uh, these modifiers. Yeah, it'd be so. awesome. Let's we'll do that it after the stream. Crazy. Of course. Uh, Ooh, nice. Continue the combo, yeah. Oh, do you have, is it double damage? For both of us, yeah. Oh my goodness, I was wondering how it was doing 50%. Yeah. Oh! And that, that was really fast. Yeah. Look how mad he is, or how, I don't know, how mad or I happy. Think that's happy. I think he's just excited. Does he have emotions? That's a question. Yeah, he talks. Oh, we just can't good. understand it. Alright, alright. Okay, this is looking pretty. No. This is looking really bad. No, perfect. No, you're lucky. You can still win, it's double damage. damage. Oh. You can still win. Tyler, oh, Tyler, oh, you're oh, missing oh, everything! Oh no. Why would you do that? Because it's awesome! Another victory! Good job. Now. Nah. Alright. Uh, thank you for the help, Steve. It was worthless. Um, <laughs> so we'll go into our next game mode. This would be a good time to say something. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see if... Yeah. So, uh, just to let you all know, um, for Mortal Kombat X, we will be supporting... Jen, do you have the camera on us? Yep. Awesome. Uh, fight sticks for uh, PS4. Yes, So absolutely. if you have a PS4 and you have a fight stick, you have the old the Mortal Kombat this stick This is the there. PS3 Mortal Kombat stick. We also have, the, uh, of course, the Injustice one from Injustice. Injustice. Right, uh, right. So, yeah, so if you have a PS4, we it is supported to mm -hmm. use sticks. And we thought it'd be fun to play a game with Derek using stick. Because Derek doesn't use stick. And me not using stick. That sounds that's fair, that sounds it? very fair. I think that's fun. I think it's fun. I'll play Johnny Cage, but I don't play very much. You play him actually quite often. I've, I've actually play. played your Johnny Cage. Okay, guys, let's be cool. So, for custom <laughs> combat, uh, you actually get to pick the modifiers that you want active. You can actually select if you want them to affect just the opponent, 
both players or just assist yourself. Um, you can go with selecting no modifiers and it'll just select random ones. How do you unlock these modifiers, you ask? I didn't though. Okay. Um, you complete our living towers. The hourly living tower, after you complete it, you'll unlock that modifier. Oh. So, naturally all these will not be unlocked, but there are quite a few. Pick um, your stuff. You can pick your stuff too, man. I'm gonna go... Mm, I'm gonna go with Cabal Assist. Okay. I'm just gonna give that to me. That's fine. I'm gonna do the God Fist. For both of us or just you? I'll do it for both of us because I'm generous. Sometimes. Okay. So God Fist is if, if a little a trinket will fall. Yes. If you grab it, you can kill them immediately. Uh, yes, it is basically an instant kill. Unless they block it, then it just takes 50% of their health. And it lasts very short amount of time. Yes, it's only about a second and a half so that it's active. I gave you killer jumps. Thanks. What does that do? Um, I, if it's killer jumps, yeah. I'll probably kill you with jump attacks. Or <laughs> Did I do it wrong? <laughs> oh, bad <laughs> jumping. Ba oh, bad jumping. That will damage me every time I no, jump. No, I did the other one. Oh, thank you. You did the wrong one. Oh, no. Uh, okay, then I'm going to do... Double That's dangerous. That's dangerous. Okay, yeah, it's dangerous. You want to get crazy. Oh, oh, you, oh you're going to back out? You're going to change your choices? What did I do wrong? I, nothing. Just go down. Okay. Just, yeah, just, there you go. This. Yeah, I, I, I messed up. Actually, it's because I didn't confirm. Oh, huh. It wasn't, it wasn't you, it was me. Oops. So I gave him the wrong thing, so I'm going to get killed pretty quickly here. He, his jump attacks will now kill you. Yeah. Great idea, Tyler. Well, he's using a stick, though. I was yeah, trying yeah. to tell you to pick the one where his jump attacks will hurt him. Right. So, so every time I, I jump, it it hurts me. So I misheard you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys teaming up? Yes. Like, Obviously not. Uh, it seems like it. All right, here we go. So. <laughs> All right. I, have... Killer I am buffed. <laughs> I, I got buffed. So I, I messed up and have hair. nothing. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> oh. Okay, cool. Oh, you, yeah, you didn't look at me. It's doing sweet uppercut. Oh, no, no. Oh! God fist in action. You need it. This is, this is malarkey. He chose it, so he can't really complain. Oh, nice combo with the stick. You're not even good with That's good. Yeah, I guess. Uh -oh. God fist, God fist, God fist. Watch out, block. Yeah! <laughs> How's that feel, Tyler? It feels fine. Does it? Fun. Like, your plan totally backfired. Yeah, I did make the plan, but it was good. Nope. See ya. I win again. This, is, this game's great. Well, crap. Um, let's do it. Uh, you want to do modifiers? Yeah, you modifiers. Okay. Yeah, you modify. okay. <laughs> that was great. You know, you're much better on the arcade stick than I thought you'd be. Yeah, thank you. For I that. don't think you can do it with any other character, but all right. Well, I guess I'll try. Cassie Cage. Hold on. See how that works. I'll do Brawler Cassie Cage. Now let's. I'm not gonna be a total ass to you. I'm because gonna... it backfired completely. Mm, it did, it did. What do you think, Steve? Mm, you can't go wrong with uh, Cyrex bombs. Okay. Um, I'm going to do. I'm gonna do Cyrex bombs for both players. Oh, that is kind of you. Yep. Then you know what? I will do um, rain bubbles for both. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, then I'll do. I gotta do something that's kind of. Dangerous. Oh, do juggle, do juggle, juggle so much okay. fun. Do juggle. How many? I, can you say how many there are? There's a whole bunch, right? There is a ridiculous amount. I want to say hundred, over a hundred. Cool. Um, and let's do X-ray insta kill. Let's see how that works. Not cell phone. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh no! Hold on. I did this only for me, and that's that's not cool. Okay. All right. So this is a real good couch combat type of thing to do. Absolutely, just... and this this mode is only exclusive to local online. Yep. So you can't you know go online and play this. All right. We got some fun things to go through here. The How will you feel if I win again? I'm so used to it. Yeah, that's true. Like, it's be. fine. Yeah. yeah. You don't even get emo anymore. I don't. I Actually, like... you do online. Okay, yeah, you do. okay, yeah, did after the last one. Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. Like, you're sad. your face was so sad. People took pictures of it. I know. And they made, yeah. like, little montages of you crying and stuff. Oh, so good. 
The best part was how you immediately came to the QA lab to tell me about how you weren't emo. Right. <laughs> oh, you only put it on player two for jungle combat? I didn't mean to. You are so such a bad friend. What do you mean? Uh-oh. We're friends. Ah. Oh! Get out of here. Get out of here. This is so Get out of cool. here. Thanks, Tyler. Oh, no. Come on, come on. Oh! Oh! I can't even move. My oh. upper, my, my upper cut combos are real. All right. I keep thinking that I can run with it. Look out for the X-ray, they'll kill you. Oh. Ah. Look out for the X-ray! Oh! Yeah. Oh no. Get in the bubble. No. Way to go, team. I didn't mean Real cool. I didn't mean to do team this. Team Lansdowne. Awesome, I really like that. Throw that box. Oh, Try right. to throw that box. Get in that bubble. Nope. Get uh. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for making that for both of us, friend. Oh, and the bubble oh. assist! Yes. Oh, this is hilarious. It's about time then. Oh. Gotta thank your punishment. Oh, I'm so angry right now. Why? Oh. I mean, it's just how you should feel, I guess. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that was awesome, Tyler. <laughs> Look up. Yep. Um, I'm gonna play Ferritor. Something no one has ever seen. Nothing has happened. Yeah. And also, guys, I know you all see Goro in the bottom corner there. We'll be showing Goro very soon. I know everyone keeps asking Goro, for Goro. Goro, 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 Goro. We have a lot of special stuff planned for Goro, so don't worry about that. We know you want him. We hear it every day. We got you. Shit. Intros. Intros. Yes. Intros. I don't want to, but I can. No can. Smash tour. Round one. Fire. I have to say, I love all of Ferratore's intros mm -hmm. because Farah is hilarious. She's amazing. She's adorable. She cracks me up every single time. So let's talk a little bit about Kung Jin. So Kung Jin is a Shaolin monk, and uh, his his uh, universal moves kind of reflect that. He has uh, some original stuff of his own. He has this cool flip kick, which he can use to end combos, or the EX-1 has armor so you can absorb attack or use it as a wake-up attack. He uses his magical bow here, and he has kind of a standard straight projectile that's... It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's pretty quick. And then he has an anti-air projectile if the opponent likes to jump around. And the EX-1 will do two arrows at the same time. And then his other Shaolin Monk kind of moves are he has a flying kick where he uses his bow to get off the ground. And then a classic uh, dive kick like his cousin Kung Lao. And then uh, Ancestral, he is it's all about the arrows. He can do more moves in the air. He can do it at different angles. You have like a short one, a straight one, a long one, and then a low arrow. So it's going to be more of a projectile battle, far away. It's just a zoning effect. Yeah, and then the really cool thing is he can power up his arrows with the spirits of his ancestors, and they give him different abilities. Like he can... Um, have fire arrows, which do a lot of damage and knock you pulling it down. And he can do this, you can see the arrow in the back actually turns red, and that'll last about six seconds, and you can do it as many times as you want or as little as you want. So you all, you have those for a time, uh, yes. a certain amount yes. of time. Then he also has one where he will drain the opponent's super meter. You can see down there, every time they hit, he loses a little bit of super meter. That, that is ridiculous. And then he has a blue one that is a stun arrow. They'll be in that little magical shield thing, and he can run in and get a combo. And you can do all of these arrows also in the air, yes. low. They power everything. up all his air attacks. Awesome. Awesome. So that's Ancestral. We should just go ahead and go to the next one. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's do it. So, if ancestral is all about the arrows, then Bojutsu is all about the staff part of the bow. I it's all about saying, that bow. I, th I, I knew someone was going to make that reference. What? I'm far too old to understand that reference. Really? No, I understand what it means. Okay, I was gonna say. 
And you'll notice that the bow is glowing as well, right? Yes, and in the other one, he has a different quiver. Mm -hmm. And the arrows are white, and they have he has a, a logo on the back of his quiver. Nice. You provoke me? Just want to test myself against you. You are not ready. Round one, fight. Cannon. So this one, yeah, this is absolutely canon. This one is all about using the bow as a staff. He gains some really good special moves that are like combo starters or combo extenders. He gets this one, and then that allows him to start combos. He gets this one, which is like a low spin, and then he gets a middle spin that he can use to extend or end his combos. So I think this one's gonna be all about getting up close, doing big damage. I think this is the one that, if you like to do high damaging, flashy combos, this is the one for you. And then another really cool thing about it is, well, he gets one more move, which is this air fireball. And the whole use of this one is, you can you can tell that his range using a weapon like this is very good. Like he has some of the some of the best range in the game, and the opponent is naturally gonna wanna jump in. Right. If you can't beat him on the ground, beat him in the air. And that's where the air fireball will come in. So you can kind of put out the air fireball, and then they're not gonna dare jump with that off, and then you get to run up and you get to do all your neat little bow moves that you gain from being in this one. Take a look at his throat. Yeah. Do some, uh, give a little, little taste of the x-ray to finish it, too. Oh, yeah. There you go. We have a little code that won't be in the final game where you can actually give us meters. We can show you guys a little easier. What about his fatality? Um, you, are we ready I mean, for that? Do you know how to do it? Maybe. Okay. Should we, uh, should we wait for the last variation? Apparently not. It's too Steve, late. Steve holds nothing back. Jin wins. Fatality. There we go. Woo! Nice job. Bullseye. So, yeah. we, got, so we got one more, huh? Mm -hmm. And and it's what we can see here is there is a range one. Yep. Now the bow jitsu is a close one. So you have, you know, if you play him, you have a lot of different places you can go with it. Yeah, and that'll be really cool for when you're playing online or in tournaments or whoever you're playing for matchups. Maybe it's a character that you're fighting that's really good at keeping you out. Mm. You can use the arrow one and be like, well, you want to keep me out? You can stay out and I'll just use my arrows. Right. Or if it's one where they want to be in your face, you know, you're fighting someone like Johnny Cage or Cassie, you can meet them attack for attack with Bojitsu. Right. And then he's got Shaolin. Power of Shaolin! Mm -mm. Call me. Call me. Totally. Kung Jin keeps a phone in his quiver, so... <laughs> well, he is a modern he, you're right. monk. Yes, he is. That's true. Well, you really you went down on me on that one. You went hard on me on that one. Gonna test you, Jin. Gonna get me an A++. Or be flat on your ASS. Round one. Fight. So Shaolin, he gains this chakram, which you can see on his hip right there. And that's really cool because it's going to change a bunch of his normal attacks. Not just you know, some combos, he gets a bunch of new moves where he uses it. Then, he also gains the ability to throw the chakra like a projectile. He can aim it up, he can aim it down, he can do the EX1 which will come back like a boomerang, and he gains a low one that he can use and he can do the boomerang with that too. So that's going to be really good, not just for zoning, but it'll be good in offense. Like, let's say the opponent is blocking. I'm blocking. Well, I accidentally opened you up. So let's say, <laughs> let's say they're crouch blocking. Okay, there we go. You gotta, you gotta give me a little bit of a idea what to do. All right, crouch blocking. You throw it, and if it hits, you get a combo. And if they're blocked, then you can just maintain your pressure. Oh, they're wow. still forced to block, and then you can do an overhead or a low or a throw. And it's nice because on hit, you can get a combo when it comes back too. And then the last move he gains is an upgrade to his kind of flying kick where he goes up in the air. You can do that as like a combo ender, or you can do that from full screen and drop down. Mm. Awesome. Gotcha. Cool. Um, so that is uh, Kung Jin. Mm -hmm. So that's our little extra surprise. Of, and there's. Surprises aren't done. Oh no! No, we got one more here in a little bit. One more. Okay. Um, so I think. That, oh, there you go. 
Oh, I'm player two. Yeah, you're player two. You want to switch? Yeah. So it's not weird. Uh, while we're waiting as well, people have asked about alternate costumes. You know, we've mentioned on Twitter and such before. Probably won't have as many as Injustice, but there's a lot of really awesome ones. And will we see classic costumes come back? That sounds pretty good to me. There's a possibility, so. I would say. So, Derek, how does it feel knowing that Melina's not a real Adenian? And Katana's the superior sister. How do you? How does it feel that she doesn't actually have a throne to sit on? Her time will come. Mm. Did you guys plan this? What not at all. Not at all. No. I need to be in these meetings when you guys <laughs> make lore chats. Oh, I'm so mad at you. Is this two out of three? Make it yeah, proper? Sure, sure, okay. sure. sure. Okay. Tournament format. Because you're a tournament player. You are unfit to live. Shao Kahn disagreed. His realm thinks as I do. Round one, fight. Whatever you're done, you like to play. Are you guys gonna say anything while this happens? Or? No, this is too serious. Gotcha, okay. Then I'll do the talking. That's new. Good blocking, oh, in the ball. It's Derek's go-to. Oh, it gets me every time with that Armor? Thing. No, it's the throw. Every time, it gets me, oh, I'm it's still not over, it's not over. Oh no. Oh. No! God, I'm out. so mad at everything! Round two, fight! Have a comeback kid when it comes to me. Shh, too. don't talk to me. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, 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 my soul hurts. Oh, that was awesome. Thanks, Steve. It's just game one. Yeah. As a tournament veteran, I'll offer you some advice. Relax. Make a few adjustments, you'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you for that. I want to add something real quick. See, I only thought you were on his side, but that, that yeah. really clears things up. You care too much for me. I did not wish to soil my hands. Round one. Real quick, about the Goro pre-order. I forgot to add that if you are uh, in the UK, you have to pre-order at game or pre-order just to get Goro. Just so. Okay. Yep. I left that part out. Ooh. Gotta watch those that watch that ball no. there. Infinite. Are you are you feeling like this pretty easy right now, Steve? How you feel? I mean Derek makes comebacks on me before. He does. I don't sell anyone short. Just kidding, this is free. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so mad right now. I'm so glad you brought back up to the stream. How, how is this back up? Because I it's like, hey, yeah. I never win, so I'm gonna get a tournament player to beat you up. Real cool. You're right, I apologize. <laughs> I think you got a chance in this. Have you won a round yet? No. Oh, okay, cool. Have you ever just, like really awesome combo yet, Steve? Yeah, I did one of my corner combos. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, man. Ooh. Alright, alright. Gotta block low to start that first dude, you know that. No, that's probably classic hurts it. Oh, that was pretty sweet. Oh, I just threw it out. Sounds like something that I would do. No! Finish her! 
Do her full fatality. Oh, oh. people have been wanting that. Ladies and gentlemen, Derek. Yeah. Feels like it'd be me, right? Yeah, no, it hurts. Well, I believe we're going to kind of get ready to close this combat cast out, but before we do that... <sighs> Steve, hand me the belt. Hand Derek the belt. It's not even a song. <laughs> All right, remember what we talked about. Remember your punishment. See, this is coaching again. This is what we talked about. Remember, when you knock him down, he's going to do a wake-up roll. Every time. Every time. And you're going Kano? I decided to go Kano. All right, that's fine. And think about your variants carefully. You want big damage for the punishes. Are you re Yeah, I got a headband. Seriously? No, I'm serious. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, you guys didn't get headbands? I got I have a headband, but my I can't. My hair is no. too big. <laughs> I would never advise you to do that again. No, I should get a haircut though. Mm -hmm. All right. Remember, don't get frustrated at the side throws. Get that's frustrated. What, that's what Melina wants. Yeah, that's what she wants. She's an irritating character. You just gotta relax. Derek Kersick plays an irritating character. I know. Uh, what? What? <laughs> what a what? surprise! Let her Are you insulting you. me? No, no, we're cool. We're cool. Oh, we're cool. We're hey, cool. good, good match. Have a good match. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, that hurts too. Intro. <sighs> Melina. I want my gold back, Kano. <laughs> Sorry, no refunds. Round one. Fight. Good, back off. Oh no. I thought he was going to move. He usually does, right? All right, yeah, keep her in the corner. Watch out, wake up, roll, wake up, roll. No, stop it, Steve. You're supposed to commentate, not coach. When you get hit by a side, just go ahead and block. Mm -hmm. Again, Steve. We're gonna have to ask him to leave. Oh, I can't cancel too much. Good, good, good. You're you're nailing those uh, throw punishes. I'll tell you. Oh no! She's gonna jump out. Excellent. Oh no! We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Are we fine? Are we fine? Are we fine? You're fine. I'm Steve, a, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave if you keep this. He up. invited me here. I, uh, oh, this is this I is always crap. Get my, my, this is crap. My I just my combo is on the screen. Oh, hold on. You're gonna do a combo. You're gonna do a full. You did a combo. You did a combo. Oh, yeah. We should just end this and call it a win. Oh my gosh. Low blocks. Oh. Alright, relax. Yep. Don't relax. take any risks. Gotcha. Don't take any risks. No oh. unnecessary risks. Like that? Yeah. Don't freak out. You're freaking out. Don't no, freak out. You're freaking out. out. You're, you're making me freak out. You totally freaked out. You freaked out. Oh, that's fun. That is fun. That's one. That is one. Tasty. Woo! He freaked out. He totally freaked out. The good news is you almost completed a combo. Yeah, you were right there. You were one or two hits away from completing Do you want to take combo. a second? No. What are you doing? Switching variation. Switching That's your... smart. That's smart. I will switch nothing. Ooh, commando. Is, I'm not ready for it, am I? I've been playing your commando Are you sure you want me to press A or X? I, I think the best thing to do is get matchup experience. <laughs> so, all right. So, one zero, me against you. You're winning. I'm yeah. losing. Yeah. All right, let's do this. I wish you luck. Thank you. This sucks. I hate, <laughs> I hate losing every time. And everyone seems like, mm hmm You're done, Melina. You betray me too. I prefer the winning side. Round one, fight. Ah. No! There we are. Don't get too anxious with parries. Smart, smart use. All right, you have the lead now, Turtle. Just relax. Let her come to you. Exactly. See, perfect. One or two knives. Don't, 
Yeah, Walk, look out for the teleport. Don't do too many times. See? No! Oh! All right, all right, all right. We're, on it. We're on it. See, a variant select, a variant changes all you need sometimes. Oh. Maybe use that vine? No, I don't. Don't, don't use the vine. <laughs> I'll use the vine oh. now. One. Uh oh. Oh, damn it. Dumb. Oh, yellow the X-ray. Right. Perfect. Was that yellow or was that a, that was a read? That was a read. Can you, that was just a good read. Thank you. you guys are a team. I don't listen to anything you have to say at this point. Okay. I think you've gone for the parry. You've gone to the parry well one too many yeah. times. Alright. Woo! That's feeling better. Anti-air uppercut. Gotcha. Uppercut. Gotcha. Fine. He's jumping around like a maniac. Oh. No. Okay, relax. Relax. Stay calm. Good. Good parry. You got momentum back. No. Excellent. Excellent. That's gonna be big damage. Alright, now stay back. Stay back. Protect your lead. Excellent. No! No, 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 no! I don't know what it is. All right. This is the point. The tournament set where he's panicking and you're in control. I'm freaking out right now. He's freaking out. He's freaking out. So? 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. This has never even happened before, has it? I don't even know, man. I'm feeling good, though. You, you want to switch variations? You're good. No, I'm good. Can I switch variations? No, you won. Yeah, I know. Also, you, why would you want to do that? You're right. right. Yeah. Oh, I'm winning with this variation. I should change. Round one. I, wonder if the, I mean, I hope people are going crazy right now. All right, remember, in a tournament, when it's one-to-one, -one, that's when risk-takers are going to take even more risks than normal. Okay. So look for them to roll and jump around even more than usual. Oh, damn it, damn it, I missed my ball. It's looking bad. It's, it's fine, it's fine. This is one round, it's one round. It's not even over. Use that fine. Yeah, you got some space, you got all the coin. Excellent use of interactables. Use that fine to avoid the low side. Excellent. Okay, don't freak out. I'm not trying to. Keep your execution. Keep up your, keep your cool. Good block, good block. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You can still win this one. Nope. Oh, that meter building, we, in, in the business, we call that a meter building round. No problem. Okay. All right, good blocking. At least you're out of the corner. Okay, good. Oh, no. no. Oh, my gosh. Remember your command grabs. Yeah, I'm trying to. All right, good breaker. You're still alive. Don't give up. Whatever you do, don't panic. You're not... Don't... Can it. Okay. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. Good. I like that. You didn't go in. Got stuff jumping. Okay. At least you didn't get a combo. I'm just going to sit here and just touch three of them. I knew that was coming. Alright, don't panic. Yeah, see? You're fine. Alright, you can panic now. <laughs> There's no, any time no, to don't panic. Give up. Don't give up. That would be it! Don't yell, don't yell, yell too loud, Mike. Emo? Yeah, it sucks. Was that really necessary? Yeah, absolutely was. Absolutely was! Hmm. On a 1 to 10 scale, rate your emo level. Well, winning one match hurt. It, it makes it worse. Yeah. And you were close, like, man. For a second, I thought. I'm not sweating. You seem like. Oh. So we picked some zeros. We're just gonna. Shao Kahn is gone. You are free. Oh, he is best. Round. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, really Except for me. Right. Yeah. First hit lands down, they call me. No one calls you that. I do. I know. Well, so far, it's uh, one for one. Just, it's, you just need to check and check. Yeah, alright. Oof, corner time. They call me Corner Combo Kurtzer. Ooh, that was pretty sweet, yeah. 
You want to see something really cool? Yeah. Ah! I'm not going to be able to do it. Nice. No, I missed nice. it. No, 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 no. Not looking good for good old Ermac. Oh, I just decided that combo was block. Good one. You like set a mix up at the end? Yeah, I think so. That was a big, that was a hard knock that mix up. See ya. I think it's more of like a, a two out of three who gets the belt. Yeah, fair. Yeah. I, mean, I would say that too after I lost the first row. I should do some more like overheads and such. Like that. Woo! Oh. Man, three hit combos. Like that. that was two. Mm -hmm. I'm flipping all over the place, huh? There we go. Go oh, bam. Oh, drop these. That's not a thing. Oh. That might. That might do it. They might do it. They might do it. That is a pile of dumb. Oh. Huh. <laughs> what is he going to do with that head now, though? Like, does he just walk around like... Doo, 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 doo. From what I heard, and I, I'm not a lore master, mm -hmm. he has them mounted to put on his walls. Oh! And I... Does your mind remember? Oh, it's our creation. And you will remember this. Round one. Right. Here we go. Hey, real quick. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Meet I'm, in the middle. Meet okay, in the middle. Right, right there. Shake hands. Okay. You mean like lit oh okay yeah is that sh that's yeah, shaking that hands in Mortal Kombat now? I'm learning. All right, first hit lands down. Oh, come uh, <laughs> on! Oh, that was awesome. That was two. Oh, Missed it. Oh my gosh! Not this looking too good. It's not that normal. Throw the fruit, man. Oh, this is so bad, dude. Thanks. Thank you. I'll have it come back. It's all right. <laughs> Oh. What is Ooh. happening right now? There we go. Mm. Wait, stop it. Oh, somebody had to get the controller down. You don't want me to do that to live. Go ahead. That's fine. You keep doing it. Seems to be working for you. No, wait, I was on the ground. Bam. Four things. Four like eight times I tried that. Yeah. See, Thank you for trolling me. I appreciate that. It. It was real nice. nice. You are the master of trolling people in this game, too. Know, by the way. You, you should actually probably block. Oh yeah. Me, you know? I saw you online when you used to play Justin, and you would just slide into a cross and over. I would sit back and do. Ah! Mm -hmm. oh, I love that. Was that him or was that all? Maybe it was all. Maybe it was all. No, it was just me. Thanks. Let me get some life back real quick. Oh, no, not. Take advantage. Still a thing. Yep. It's, uh, it's good if they stay up and up. Yeah, exactly. Ooh! I don't think that wins the whole match. Yeah. <laughs> We say, ooh, after a cool thing. Yeah. All right. We both have the same amount of meter. Fresh hey, shake, shake hands. Shake hands. Okay. Shake hands. Okay. Shake hands. Like that? Or? No, just oh, shake okay. hands. Okay, okay, okay. No. What? Oh, it hurts. That's cool. We got x-ray combos. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. oh. I what? totally thought I blocked it. What? what? It's three hits. It's three hits. I blocked block two all. of them. Yeah, you gotta block them all. Man, my hubris is really making me lose. Blanche for the win. Blanche for the win. Oh. What? Belt, please. Oh. That feels good. 
Just my size. Fits right. So like the current champion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So next stream, uh, we'll have another best of three. I thought us allies are back. We will oppose the Emperor. Now we will perish. Round one. <sighs> so Jen, just a second ago, gave me the shush side because she knew that I was gonna do it. Right. She's she's I started a new too. responsibility. I started to talk too. Pretty impressive. Alright, so all the way over here to the far right side, you've got this muffler that you can grab. And bash her on Bend the around his face. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, of course, there's a car to leverage space. Always about traversal. Like, you know, we've kind of talked about it, like, in Justice, a lot of the interactions were kind of about damage. In this, a lot of the interactions, there are some damaging ones that you can, of course, block. But a lot of these are about traversal. It's about getting around. About. That's fine. We're, we're doing a background breakdown. Right? Background breakdown. We got to see the stoplight. Green means go. Booyah. <laughs> and then finally over here we, we have a uh, an jet engine? engine of some sort. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. There's the guy's like fighting against some rabid dogs trying to attack him, so Well in a destroyed city you've gotta fight for everything you've got. Yeah. Here it is. Round two. And then uh should we should we do Ermax Fatality? Nah. We're gonna hold on that. Yeah, on nah, that. that's silly. We're gonna hold on that. Because maybe you noticed in the video we showed, um, you know, we grab the dude and twist them up, and there's some more stuff that happens afterwards that's uh, awesome. We're actually going to show you a different fatality. We are? Yeah. Players, so characters are going to have more and more fatality in this game. It looks like it. It looks like they will. So, I don't believe it. So we're going to show you one of those. So, but I think maybe it's time now. You, you want to... Uh, I want to finish beating Paul. Okay, that's kind of what I really that's want. Fine. Don't just stink Paul. Oh. Oh, I should have done my disco. Nuts! Alright, so next. Move on, Kung Lao. For the Shaolin, let's do it. You have no chance, Thunder God. Thunder blots out the sun. Temporarily. Round one. Fight.
can hear it. And there's unique intros dependent upon each matchup as well, which is great. Yeah, characters know each other, they, they talk to each other, and uh, it's all custom. So let's start up. All right, cool. So, uh, so Kotal Khan, uh, Blood God uh, variation. Looks like um, Derek has brought up the uh, Obsidian Totem. So Obsidian Totem is the black totem with a blue light. Um, you notice the blue energy flowing around his chest. So what this is like a defensive totem. So um, any damage that uh, Kotal Khan takes uh, while the blue totem is up is, um, I think currently it's set to like 20%. Of, uh, of Obviously those values will, will change, but uh, essentially the Obsidian is defensive. Okay. All right. And uh, it's, it's a good point out here because Derek put it up one more time. You can't <laughs> stack totems. No, no. One totem at a time. Um, and um, for the most part, they stay out for the set duration and um, the buff will be active at that time. Cool. So this uh, this, this green yellowish totem is uh, the crystal totem. So it's kind of the opposite of the defense. It's an offense uh, buff. So you see the green energy um, around his uh, forearms when it's active. Uh, and basically we'll just augment all of the all of his uh, attack damage. Now, active. when that totem is out and you also do the blood offering where he uh, cuts himself to do more damage, will that actually stack the damage? Uh, it does stack the damage, yes. So so if, you, if you're able to get this totem out and also get the, the sacrifice out, uh, which trades some health for increased damage, um, you'll have even higher damage. Damage. So that's been leading to some really, uh, really damaging combos some, and uh, QA. Some beefy so, uh, damage. Yeah, so we might need to tone that down a little bit uh, before the game comes out. This but, is not uh, the final damage, you're saying? Uh, this is not the final damage. Amazing. And finally? Uh, finally, probably the, the most unique uh, totem he has is uh, the Blood Totem. Um, so what this one does is, while it's active, any damage that Kotal Khan does to the opponent, it will send their blood or health into the totem. You can see it by the particle effect. Uh, the blood that drains into it. And as long as uh, Kotal Khan does not get hit, um, when the duration of the totem expires, it'll send that health into Kotal Khan. Uh, so it's kind of like a high risk reward thing where you can put it out, he can try to store up this damage, but he has to play kind of defensive minded so that he doesn't get hit. Because uh, if he doesn't get hit, the uh, totem is destroyed. Right, right. And I want to show them something real quickly here. Um, let, me just, let me beat you up real quick. I will allow it this one time. Yeah, because it never, ever never, happens. No. So Kotal, uh, go ahead and show him the blood sacrifice. Sure. So there, he'll do a lot more damage. I'll show him. It'll, it'll, it's beefy. Don't kill me. Oh, you sorry. Could, you could. It's, it's hard. Uh, the great thing is, let me just do some. I don't play race. So I'm going to do a lot of just punches. Sure. And Ooh, that was good. Thank you. So now, this is the fun part. Uh, Derek actually did this during a match where he's playing, and if you do blood sacrifice, <laughs> <laughs> you've chosen poorly. Well, you know. I, I didn't want you to have to kill me. Right, kill myself. Let's move on. We have uh, another question that's been coming out a lot. Is, is the same thing as Quan Chi has a a buff, a sorcerer variation, <laughs> which also has a, a, some really unique uh, buffs for him. Yeah, yeah, we'll, you know, you know, similar but similar but different. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, so he has he also has three uh, individual spell casts that he can uh, cast, and they'll put um, some uh, magical fields on the ground. Uh, and he will um, get a buff if he's standing inside that. Um, so it's kind of about positioning and um, setting yourself up uh, from the screen. Yeah, he's going to be a really tricky character. Like the the, the sorcerer variation is yeah, would, scary to fight against. I would, yeah, I would say this is this is kind of like like more like an MK9 variation mm -hmm. for him, uh, where it's, you know it's kind of you know rangy and keeping people kind of locked down right. and you know sure. block strings and things like that. And the uh, spells kind of kind of feed into that. So, so I'm gonna pull one up. I don't know which one it is because I forget the buttons. Okay. So let's let's see what happens. All the dice. Happens. There we go. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So uh, so the purple one, uh, while he's standing inside of it, it augments um, several of his special attacks, like the skull toss, the air skull toss, uh, and the um, the uh, ground blasts. So you'll notice that. When you do them normally, um, they're green energy, but when he's sitting inside this field, it's purple energy. So what this does is it'll do the same damage as the normal uh, special would do, but it adds this lingering um, damage over time effect. Uh, so you'll notice that by like a, a purple energy that's on the uh, the opponent's head uh, whenever one of these moves hit. So basically, you can just just you know layer these things on and just you know just just, mm -hmm. just augment this this uh, this damage over time damage that he has. But you have to be standing inside that that ring um, to have that act. And you know you got him too, because like his usuals are green. Yep. Uh, so there's that. Next, oh, that's this one. Yep. So so this one's a little bit different. Um, instead of placing the field underneath him, it places the field underneath the opponent, and you'll notice that he that it's active by the little energy that's kind of like you know draining off of him. And uh, what that one does is it makes it where the opponent takes increased uh, block damage. So if the guy's blocking and he's blocking attacks, uh, he'll take additional damage from that. So that's good for Quan Chi because like I said. 
Um, he can kind of lock people down in block strings and stuff, you know, trading up the, the trance and the, the runes and the uh, projectiles. If we all remember the runes. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, so, you know, you can get this thing on. Now, now, that, now the opponent's like, well, do I try to get out of this thing? Or you can lock him down to the corner and kind of keep him in there and mm -hmm. just force him to take chip damage until, uh, until he died. Right. Now, my personal favorite... Is, is the one I just did by accident. We just, we just talked about <laughs> it. I'm just going to go ahead and show that one again, I guess. So we'll see Ferritor beat up on Quad Two for a Yeah, that part is actually cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's nice. great. Oh, yeah. I love the color. So, uh, can you put on the Jen on the dry erase board for mistakes I've made? Can you two. put two? Yeah. Well, on the stream, the name of the stream. Combat Cast? No, the. Uh, yeah, 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 the oh, oh, yeah, yeah, right. So that's one. Yeah. Two, please, two. two yeah. Okay, how about this one? Let's see. Perfect. There we go. All right. So, so the green one, um, it will increase uh, Quan Chi's um, defense ability. So he gets one hit of armor while he's standing in it. So um, this is perfect for his play style because he can, you know, maybe get you in the corner, drop this one down underneath him, and then you're basically just trapped in the corner. Um, uh, it's also good for projectile battles, obviously. You know, so he'll have that on. He can throw a projectile, and if you throw a projectile and try to trade with him, um, he's not going to take the uh, uh, go into reaction. Sure that, yeah. So I can. Yeah. <laughs> there, so, it there it is. There it is. So it'll take the one hit, it'll eat it, and then, and then while he's standing in there, it regenerates every, you know, right. some short amount of time that'll be very, you know, very based on what, uh, you know, all of the guys uh, decide, uh, right. balance wise. Um, but with these three different magical fields, he's able to change up the play style, but all three are kind of um, based around his ability to pressure opponents right. um, or stay, stay really, really far out range wise. Awesome. Which, you know, it's great. We talk about variations, too. Like, Quan Chi really shows you that they're so different. Yeah. Like, his portal one is, is more about getting around and really tricking the opponent. And then, you know, the... the Puggles. Puggles the Nether Bat, as Derek calls him. Puggles. Uh, Changes up, you know. It's it's it's, almost, it's like he gives him an assist around. And yeah, it's almost like a combo, like a, like a combo or everything. Because he can call right. out uh, the, uh, the the puggles, the multi bat, and call them out. It's another bat uh, during combos and stuff to um, to increase hits and uh, and jumping. Right. Uh, we're now going to kind of we're going to go th we're going to do like a, a a bit of a cannon match. We're going to actually play a match, and you can help us call it because we have trouble sometimes talking when we're fighting because we get really well, intent We, we care what we're doing. Okay. I just well, want so to beat you. That's really it. Um, but we'll, we'll try to talk. So, uh, I will be Sub-Zero. I'm going to go Scorpion. Characters know each other. They, they talk to each other and uh, it's all custom. So, let's start up. All right, cool. So, uh, so Kotal Khan, uh, Blood God uh, variation. Looks like um, Derek has brought up the uh, Obsidian Totem. So, Obsidian Totem is the black totem with a blue light. Um, you notice the blue energy flowing around his chest. So, what this is, is like a defensive totem. So, um, any damage that uh, Kotal Khan takes uh, while the blue totem is up is, um, I think, currently it's set to like 20% of uh, the damage. Obviously, those values will, will change. But uh, essentially, the Obsidian is defensive. Okay. All right. And uh, it's, it's a good point out here because Derek put it up one more time. You can't <laughs> stack totems. No, no. One totem at a time. Um, and um, for the most part, they stay out for the set duration and um, the buff will be active at that time. Cool. So this uh, this, this green yellowish totem is uh, the crystal totem. So it's kind of the opposite of the defense. It's an offense uh, buff. So you see the green energy um, around his uh, forearms when it's active. Uh, and basically we'll just augment all of the all of his uh, attack damage. Now, when that totem is out and you also do the blood offering where he uh, cuts himself to do more damage, will that actually stack the damage? Uh, it does stack the damage, yes. So so if, you, if you're able to get this totem out and also get the, the sacrifice out, uh, which trades some health for increased damage, um, you'll have even higher amplified damage. So that's been leading to some really... Uh, Really damaging combos in a QA. Some beefy so, uh, damage. Yeah, so we might need to tone that down a little bit uh, before the game comes out. This but, is not uh, the final damage, you're saying? Uh, this is not the final damage. Amazing. And finally? Uh, finally, probably the, the most unique uh, totem he has is uh, the Blood Totem. Um, so what this one does is, while it's active, any damage that Kotal Khan does to the opponent, it will send their blood or health into the totem. You can see it by the particle effect, uh, the blood that drains into it. And as long as uh, Kotal Khan does not get hit, um, when the duration of the totem expires, it'll send that health into Kotal Khan. Uh, so it's kind of like a high risk reward thing where you can put it out, you can try to store up this damage, but he has to play kind of defensive minded so that he doesn't get hit, because uh, he doesn't get hit, the uh, totem is destroyed. Right, right. And I want to show them something real quickly here. Um, let, me just, let me beat you up real quick. I will allow it this one time. Yeah, because it never, ever never. happens. No. So Kotal, uh, go ahead and show him the blood sacrifice. Sure. So there he'll do a lot more damage. I'll show him. It'll, it'll, it's beefy. Don't kill me. Oh, you sorry. Could, you could. It's, it's hard. Uh, 
The great thing is, let me just do some. I don't play race, so I'm gonna do a lot of just punches. Sure. And Ooh, that was good. Thank you. So now, this is the fun part. Uh, Derek actually did this during a match where he's playing, and if you do blood sacrifice, <laughs> you've chosen poorly. Well, you know, I, I didn't want you to have to kill me. Right, right. myself. Let's move on. We have uh, another question that's been coming out a lot is, sure. is the same thing as Quan Chi has a a buff, a sorcerer variation, mm -hmm. which also has a, a, some really unique uh, buffs for him. Yeah, yeah, well, yoga's a bit, you know, similar but similar but different. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, so he has he also has three uh, individual spell casts that he can uh, cast, and they'll put um, some uh, magical fields on the ground, uh, and he will. Um, get a buff if he's standing inside that. Um, right. So it's kind of about positioning and um, setting yourself up uh, from the screen. Yeah, he's going to be a really tricky character. Like The, the, the sorcerer variation is yeah, would, scary to fight against. I would, yeah, I would say this is this is kind of like like more like an MK9 variation mm -hmm. for him, uh, where you know, it's kind of you know rangy and keeping people kind of locked down right. and you know, sure. block strings and things like that. And the uh, spells kind of kind of feed into that. So, so I'm going to pull one up. I don't know which one it is because I forget the buttons. Okay. So let's, let's see, see what happens. Roll the dice. Happens. There we go. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So uh, so the purple one, uh, while he's standing inside of it, it augments um, several of his special attacks, like the skull toss, the air skull toss, uh, and the, um, the uh, ground blasts. So you'll notice that when you do them normally, um, they're green energy, but when he's standing inside this field, it's purple. So what this does is it'll do the same damage as the normal uh, special would do, but it adds this lingering um, damage over time effect. Uh, so you'll notice that by like a, a purple energy that's on the uh, the opponent's head uh, whenever one of these moves hit. So basically, you can just just you know layer these things on and just you know just just, mm -hmm. just augment this this uh, this damage over time damage that he has. But you have to be standing inside that that ring um, to have that active. And you know you got him too because like his usuals are green. Yep. Uh, so there's that. Next. Oh, that's this one. Yep. So, so this one's a little bit different. Um, instead of placing the field underneath him, it places the field underneath the opponent, and you'll notice that he that it's active by the little energy that's kind of like you know draining off of him. And uh, what that one does is it makes it where the opponent takes increased uh, block damage. So if the guy's okay. blocking and he's blocking attacks, um, he'll take additional damage from that. So that's good for Quan Chi because, like I said. Um, he can kind of lock people down in block strings and stuff, you know, trading up the, the trance and the, the runes and the uh, projectiles. If we all remember the runes. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, so, you know, you can get this thing on. Now, now, now the opponent's like, well, do I try to get out of this thing? Or you can lock him down to the corner and kind of keep him in there and mm -hmm. just force him to take chip damage until, uh, until he die. Right. Now, my personal favorite is, is the one I just did by accident. We just, we just talked about it. <laughs> We're just, just going to go ahead and show that one again, I guess. So we'll see Ferritor beat up on Quad T for yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that actually cool. So, yeah, yeah, no, it's nice. great. I love the color. So uh, can you put on the, Jen, on the dry erase board for mistakes I've made? Can you two. put two? Yeah. Well, well, the stream, the name of the stream. Combat cast? No, the... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, the oh, oh, right oh, yeah, right. So that's one. Yeah. Two, please two. two yeah. Okay, how about this one? Let's see. Perfect. There we go. All right. So, so the green one, um, it will increase uh, Quan Chi's um, defense ability. So he gets one hit of armor while he's standing in it. So um, this is perfect for his play style because he can, you know, maybe get you in the corner, drop this one down underneath him, and then you're basically just trapped in the corner. Um, uh, it's also good for projectile battles, obviously. You know, so he'll have that on. He can throw a projectile, and if you throw a projectile and try to trade with him, um, he's not going to take the uh, go into reaction. Show that, yeah. So I can. Yeah. So it'll take the one hit, it'll eat it, and then and while he's standing in there, it regenerates every, you know, right. some short amount of time that'll be very, you know, very based on what, uh, you know, all of the guys uh, decide, uh, right. balance wise. Um, but with these three different magical fields, he's able to change up the play style, but all three are kind of um, based around his ability to pressure opponents um, or stay, stay really, really far out range wise. Awesome. Which, you know, it's great. We talk about variations, too. Like, Quan Chi really shows you that they're so different. Yeah. Like, his portal one is, is more about getting around and really tricking the opponent. And then, you know, the... the Puggles. Puggles the Nether Bat, as Derek calls him. Puggles. Uh, changes up, you know, it's, 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 almost, it's like he gives him an assist around. And yeah, it's like, almost like a combo, like a, like a combo or everything, because he can call right. out uh, the, uh, the, the Puggles, the Nether Bat, and call him out. It's another bat. Uh, during combos and stuff, to... Um, to increase hits and uh, add general paper. Right. Uh, we're now going to kind of we're going to go through, we're going to do like a, a bit of a cannon match. We're going to actually play a match, and you can help us call it because we have trouble sometimes talking when we're fighting because we get really well, intent. We, on we care what we're doing. Okay. I just also want to beat you. So uh, 
I will be Sub Zero. I'm gonna go Scorpion. Let's go to the Poster Boys. Yes, and I will be Cryomancer. So I'm a fan of the Ninjutsu. Now, to talk about it real quick, um, Ninjutsu, like, if you know what footsies are in a fighting game, it's like trying to stay away from your opponent's longest range move. Scorpion Ninjutsu version is the master of that. Yeah. Like, you have a good four feet, you have to be always worrying about you it. You have to respect the spacing. And with this one, I also have a lot of different mix ups with I have a hammer I can use, there's a lot of things I can do here, too. Yep. So. Yeah, it's definitely the more combo heavy version right. of, uh, of something. And here we go, we've already started. There we go. Let's see. Uh, we're in jungle background. Yeah. Really, really cool background. Uh, really shows off some of the, uh, the, uh, the cool new tech. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. here comes Derek's big combo. Oh! oh yeah, we gotta keep track of how many times we drop combos. My, well. It's one of my favorites. The the shank. Right there. The shank, shank. Oh. Yeah, that's basically a modification from like you know a normal combo screen that he has uh, right. in the, uh, the other variations. But in this one, it does much more damage and um, sets up. Uh, yeah. Well, what I love is you can start that and you can cancel the final one into like the overhead hammer. Yes. So they're trying to because you can backdash or jump the daggers. Mm -hmm. But so you can start mixing them up if you don't. Yep. Ah. Overhead hammer. Overhead hammer. Yeah, deceptively powerful move. Like it, it yeah. seems slow, but uh, if but, you use it, but, if, but in practice, it's, like uh, using it raw great. is dangerous sometimes. But in combo, it's great. I'm really enjoying you talking, actually, Tyler. Please. Ah! Stuff, dude. Oh, so I heard Scorpion has a block in it. Like, why aren't you using it? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I just, I just didn't want to have to do that to Tyler, really. <laughs> Yeah, this, it, it's not in this variation. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's and that it won't too. be in the final game. It won't? No. Gosh. Because that sounds like it would be an easy way to win. I'd say Scorpion's already pretty powerful. Oh, I love Scorpion. Yeah, he's pretty good. To give it many, he's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> anything extra. Yeah, he's just running around over right now. Oh. Don't start singing. I Don't will. start singing. Oh, now you're singing. <laughs> so, that's what we did. about Sub Zero. Um, uh, probably one of my favorite tricks, uh, new tricks with Sub Zero, is the, uh, the EX Ice Ball. Um, uh, and now the other projectiles. Yeah. So, oh, right. So, one oh. of the weaknesses that Sub Zero's had in the past is. Uh, oh, Scorpion Sweet Town. <laughs> We haven't really shown this very much no. yet. Um, I, I think we've kind of stayed away from it, so take it in, everybody, in all of its glory. Oh, it's gory, glory. Gory, glory. I love the little tongue. Little yeah. Tongue. Wow. Wow. You touch me first, we lose. Yes. It's like, you can trap people pretty good. It's awesome. So first we got the pig. Now, we're not going to say if this is the head of the pig from, from Injustice. With the pig advantage, but there's still pig advantage yeah. again. These are two different worlds. Is it the same pig? I don't know. Maybe it gets around. Maybe it gets the world of world. No one knows. Here we go. So we come over here. I'm coming. Step on the pig. That's one thing. All right. You want to go ahead and throw the... I want to throw the fruit. I'm going to look at that. And all the poor people cry in the background. They're like, oh, the food. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, we got the tiger here. Tigor. 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 You jump off of. Which also you can use to... Him off. Okay. It makes him mad. He is. Yeah. Oh. He is. You can use it to get away from your opponent, and then I can also use it to get closer to you if you're trying to... Yeah, something else you can attack out of all these. Like, yeah. So all, mm -hmm. all the evasive stuff, you can actually attack out of them. So you can use them offensively or defensively. And you can also be attacked. Yes. Like, you're never safe in this yes. sort of sleep. If you want to get away, I could still, like... The one thing I practiced that was starting to happen is that... Now you, you attacked me. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry That's about that. my cool one. Blam! Oh, oh. oh, put another tally for drop combo. Do it again. Okay, all right. You ready? You're going to redeem yourself? I am. All right. You have no meter. <laughs> okay, so the tiger works. <laughs> seems, seems like a setup. And it here was. is our favorite. Let's, let's frame her. There she is. Look at her. Look at that poor, innocent old lady. Now, in, in internally, we have named her Blanche. Blanche. I love her. I think we all have a golden girl that we all like. I think so. I related to Blanche. She was kind of the one that I was like, yes, golden girls, you're my favorite. I was Sophia Rose? Sure. Yeah, yeah you look like a Rose kind of guy. Who was the southern one? Uh, so that, from, that, from Georgia originally. 
I want to go with that was Blanche. Oh, yeah, yeah, Blanche. Okay. Southern yeah. Belle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what we can do, may I do the honors? Please? You can throw Blanche. Go to sleep, Blanche. Yeah, is, go to sleep. Of questionable morality. Of questionable morality. She's and, fine, she's fine. And then, of course, there in this uh, stage, there's another ability to get out of the corner. Yeah, so that one's a little different. It's, it's you know, you have to, you have to be in the air mm -hmm. right, to get out. So you'll notice a lot, a lot of the corners have different ways to to escape. Um, we don't want everything to be like, you know, a right. you know, one trick. And also, you'll notice that when you're doing these interactions, that your stamina meter actually goes down as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so we have this this, this new meter, stamina meter. Um, it governs things like uh, back dashes and the run, mm -hmm. um, and also um, the uh, background interacts. Um, so obviously, you know how fast it, you know, accrues and things now, and how much it takes to do these different things is all, you know, up in the air and right. um, is being refined as we uh, as we uh, as we design stuff. Um, but yeah, so so what we wanted was make sure that you know because back dashes are so powerful, uh, they involve long two frames in the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what you know this week. I don't know how many frames it is. Right. It changes, it changes based on um, on uh, how we're doing. Um, but uh, because of that, you have to really kind of manage that. So you want to go, hey, if I backdash twice to get out of something, I may have backdashed into the corner, and now I don't have any to escape uh, from the interact. Mm -hmm. um, or, hey, I might use it offensively to uh, to run, right, to uh, to extend combos and things like that, or just to close distance. And if you've been playing a little bit too defensively, um, then you might not have the right. Um So it, it factors in a lot to the to the moment of the gameplay. Oh no! It adds like an extra an extra little layer to the meta, basically. Right. Cool. Do we, do we want to yeah. run that back? I mean, do you, are you happy with what just happened? I, mean, I think I'm, I'm happy that I took the win and the, the max that didn't count. Okay, if you're fine with that. I'm, really good. I'm good to move on. Okay, well, all right. Let's do that. I'm just fine. I'm, I mean, whatever you're happy with, Tyler. Sure. Yeah. I think it's time. Let's let's do. We should do a streamer's choice match. Ooh. Okay. okay. Streamer's choice. So we're a little bit on a bit a little bit of delay. So any characters you all want to see, type them in, and we will. Uh, Hopefully, we know one of the characters well enough to play them well. I think between the both of us, we should know at least one of them. He <laughs> says, "Okay, I see a Quan Chi, so I'll do Portal." Okay, all right. And hmm. Okay, we did a character. That actually uh, yeah, uh, uh, Devora. I saw Devora there. Sorry. Oh, what are the chances I get to play Devora again? <laughs> Great news. Now the problem here is I've never played this matchup. No, no, I don't think you ever have. I haven't. So this should be exciting for you. I think after this, maybe we'll do a. Uh, Let's put Blanche actually into play. Okay. All right. After this, maybe we'll do a, one more match. Okay. Do a. Uh, I would personally like to show we, one character we haven't shown very much is Ferator. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do one of those matches. Sure. And, uh, do you want to play? Uh no. Yeah, okay. Play. He's good. He's good. Bye. All right. All right. Who would you like to play as against Ferator? Would you say? Mm. That's that's tough. I mean, you put me right here on the spot, yeah, but I'm probably gonna go with. Okay. So, Holly, one of my favorite things about the, uh, the pull variation for a punch here is walk variation is the, um, you notice that, that every variation has some kind of a uh, change to costume, or, you know, a weapon that they use, something like that. Um, this Quan Chi was kind of a last minute idea from uh, from uh, Steve Ren, our, our art director. Um, we were like, hey, what are we, we going to give that kind of, you know, denotes this, you know, full of them. So I thought, I know they're green, what do we do? And uh, we started with, like, you know, the, the glow on the skull, he's on his chest, that was really cool. And he was like, hey, how about we put, like, some skeletal arms, like, you know, crisscross on the back. We're all like, yeah, I don't know if that's going to look cool or not. And then we got him in and it was like, ah, it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. So, um, <laughs> Love that. I guess that's why he's the art director. That's how you start around. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, 32% damage, that's super cool. Thanks. Uh-huh. Uh, I think I don't want to throw this match. I really don't. But yeah, we do want to see. I do. I do want to see oh, Quan Chi. No, actually, we we do that on this character. Oh, okay. That's fair enough. There you go. Oh. Yeah, so the board just fast. A lot mm. of pokes. Good, um, good mix-ups. Uh, highs and lows. He's not letting you do anything. Doesn't, doesn't do huge damage, but um, constant. But in your you're face. taking constant damage, especially in this variation. No, 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 no! This is her, her venomous variation, so um, any of her attacks that um, use the, uh, the, the overpositors yes! um, will add, will poison the opponent and, and do damage over time to them. And the more that you land, it'll augment that amount. Yep. Good win. Thank Go you. Ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much. Feels good. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. That kind of shows off some of our new, the new uh, gore tech stuff we can do, punch holes in bodies, things mm -hmm. like that, that, um, that our programmers uh, were able to do uh, for, uh, for this generation of our... That's been the awesome thing, too, is like some of the fatalities now. We're able to do things that we've never been able to do just because tech, you know, even four years ago doesn't oh, yeah. allow you to do that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually honestly surprised that, like, like, everyone's able to come up with new fatalities, like, even still. I mean, how many fatalities have we had, like, in the past, you know... 15, 20 years, right? right like, right. like, but, but, but every game, everyone still no, has, good. still can creep people out with new stuff. You'd be sitting in a meeting and someone says something, you're just like, I, why would you ever come up with something like that? That, that is insane. <laughs> and it would the game like, oh, cool. Yeah, I always talk to my girlfriend because I've shown her some of these. She's like, oh, that's really, that's really neat. Are you guys weird? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you know, Are you've seen weird? me so a little bit. Um, I've sat in on one of the fatality meetings, and it's one of, as a child, thinking that I would be sitting in a fatality meeting like that. You're like. So this is actually how it happens. Yeah, like, yeah. It's awesome. just weird. Like, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, let's dial that back. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's funny because sometimes it is it, it is even a little bit too uh, a little bit too much for us, right? You know what? Let's, let's pull that one back a bit. <laughs> I finally got it. Thank you. You don't get to remove the demerit. Oh, fair enough. Puggles. Oh, and I did the wrong one. Nice. Thank you. My clutch. Maybe he was gonna jump in on you. Like you don't know. Yes. Yeah. True. I mean, I just, just read that wrong. Oh. There we go. Show it off, Tyler. Don't drop it. Oh! There it is. Oh, bad timing on that one. Puggles. The, the low, low puggles. Low puggles. He's gonna go ahead and get my life back. Like yeah, so the sun ray, sun ray kind of cool too. You put it down if the, the opponent stands and if they take damage. If uh, Kotal stands in, he gains health back. So. Mm -hmm. Kind of a unique take, uh, special. Love his throw. No. Oh, I forgot I can totally zone him out, too. No. Yeah, we thought Quachi was good at like zoning. I t <laughs> For about the last 30 minutes, I forgot that he could shoot skulls out of his head. I mean, he's got skulls, you know. Hey, uh, saw the X-ray. How do you like that? Like a bat that he can send at, you know, low high ice, you know. So I should, what I'm, what I'm doing is just getting really close and missing. Yeah, you're basically <laughs> playing against a character that is super powerful and close, and yeah. you're doing it right in his face. <laughs> Doesn't make much sense. Nope. Oh. 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 So you can meter burn throws um, to set up 50-50s uh, and resets. Yeah, exactly, exactly, yes. Yeah. So um, so everyone has like their normal their normal throw. Mm -hmm. um, and they can also spin one bar meter to uh, meter burn it. And that'll basically like a you know, cinema for standing reset. Right. So basically you're, cha you're, you're trading guaranteed damage for potential right. damage. Are we back Which for someone like you, probably a bad idea because you're going to drop the combo away <laughs> even if you do land it. John, so for you, you probably want to go with just the raw damage. You've seen me play. You, you know I can hit combos. Right. Um, Let's, nope. let's say, yeah, I mean, I see you here. Maybe something happened to you since the last time I saw you play. How about some of that? Yeah, puggles. Ah! Puggles oh, examples. <laughs> oh, I missed. Yeah, so, uh, so, so the bat, tons of different things it can do. She's projectiles. It has a, mm -hmm. it, it has a, um, a throw. It can hit low. It, uh, can stop jump-ins. Um, the only trade-off is it could be potentially a little bit slow, you know, on, on reaction mm -hmm. to, uh, to to read things like that. But um, uh, really good for setups. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, once you actually finish a combo, uh, pull the bat out. Yep. Like every time they're on the ground, pull the bat out. Yep. And unless Paul has changed it recently, right. um, we haven't shown you can also you can also summon the bat, have the bat attack while you're inside mm -hmm. combo strings. Here's something we have. We've only shown a little piece of, and we're going to show the whole thing right now. And it is. It's gory. Pretty good. It's good. Pretty good. So we've gone for about 45 minutes. I say we okay. do one more match and we'll, we'll do some shout outs and then sign off. How does it sound? Yep. All right. I will not hold back this time. Okay. Okay. So you you pick your person. Okay. Uh, you, I, I'm thinking about who I'm going to pick, okay. man. Okay. Don't rush this. I'm going to do. We want the screen check? Oh, we want to do some, some, some Ferritor, right? We'll do Ferritor. All right. All right. You're going Sans Farah. I'm going Sans Farah. I was great you know, choice. I was an adjuster. I was a bane player. Great choice. I, um, yes, you, you, you know what? I remember you coming all the time over to the design area. Like, hey, this bane thing now. Come on, let's let's, let's, let's make this work. 
I, uh, and then Paul was like trolling you the whole time. I was like, oh no, he's done. The Bane's done. We're, <laughs> we're gonna leave him alone. And you just go back all sad. Back Perfect the way he is. But, but I want to do Snoopy the... music would play. And you go like that. <laughs> had my blankie with me. Yeah, it was <laughs> yeah. a good time. <laughs> if there's anything about Paul, he's like, oh, never. He likes to troll people. He does like to troll people. He, he may be in the chat right now. <laughs> I think he is trolling, trolling people. people in the chat. And you never know which name Paulo is going by. That's he true. has many of the aliases. I think people will be uh, happy to know that uh, he acts exactly the same way at work. As mm -hmm. uh, Half the time I'll leave talking to him and, and be like, Derek, was he being honest? Who knows, maybe. Oh. Ooh. Blanche! Oh. Go to sleep, Blanche. So obviously Lackey, uh, fair core. Um, more in your face, more damage. Um, he trades, you know, some, some range mobility. Right. We had a little trouble here, obviously. Well, you're in a corner, which is bad. Bad position to be against Devora when you're... Uh, oh, thank you for putting it the corner. And... Well, you know. Well, you're in the corner now. Yeah, think about... Uh, Tor Fair? I feel like you did that on purpose, just so that you could uh, that you get out of the corner. Mm -hmm. I am kind, man. I am. You are. You that's are. one thing people do say about me. <laughs> Tor's pretty nuts in the corner too, though. That was a good well, when he's not way. when he's not trapped in the corner. Right. When he's on the other side, it's yeah. great. How many times did I try to get that out? <laughs> I heard you clicking at least four or five times. And you kept hitting me beforehand. So right. I thought I was playing, you just hear just frantic yes! triggers. Yeah, I was so zen today when I was practicing through this stuff, too. Hey, man, it's like a tournament. You can't, uh, doesn't matter what you're doing in the lab, right? That's why I'm playing tournaments. I just wasted on that round. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I missed it. Oh, another draft combo. Yeah. Uh, puts a little concerned back there for your performance. <laughs> it looks like she's now siding with the board. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's like, you know what? Actually, yeah, I, think, I think I found my new master. <laughs> no. Do this. Do this. You feel good about it? I feel great. Like, I, I'm pretty confident right now. Come on, Tyler. I know what you're doing. What's the problem, Tyler? <laughs> you know, that was, you know. What? That's like the biggest combo I know. That's a lie. Goddamn it! Get in there! No! Oh! 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 No! Oh! Oh! No! Nice. There you go. That was good. Nice job, Tyler. Way to go, Tyler. You did great. Everybody say good job, Tyler. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's all right. So I won that one. You did. Excellent. Congratulations. MK. MK. That's classic MK. Be sure you don't talk, Brian, during the intros. I know this. Oh, I watch okay. the streams. Oh. Scorpion. No red is here. You best keep your hands off it. Round one. Fight. All right, and so we're in here. So um, let's start off with what's common across all of her variations. Uh, she has the gunshot, right? Yeah, and her most and her her main moves are the gunshot, her uh, like flip kick, her she has like a fly up dive kick. That also, you can ex and come down, go over projectiles, which is really handy. Um, so that's the main. Move. And that's that's pretty much your common ones. Yeah, her common overall. And then of course it, you we've also got a little bit of flair. Also with some of her special attacks as well, right. or her normal attacks. That is a kind of little hand of Johnny Cage, a little bit of shadow kick, just to end a combo. It's not really a move that she needs to primarily use, but it just kind of gives the flavor of where she came from. It is definitely a really good string for her to yeah. use. Though. Oh, absolutely. It definitely, it's one, yeah, of, it's one of the ones absolutely. that I go to quite a bit. Yeah. Sure. Um, yeah. And then exclusive to this variation, she's got air guns as well. Right. And then you can do a EX version of that, right? Right, meter burn throws the third one down at the end. Right. right. Um, and then, of course, she's got her classic nothing says dad more than the no punch right. right right and she'll give you she'll give you a, a, a double punch too let me get you some yeah but so. you beat up on me there for a little bit so I get some here we go oh my gosh it's like you play sporty on your life <laughs> <laughs> Well, everyone is, it's so funny because all the tweets I get, and I think it's hilarious, 
Everyone's like, can you get somebody on stream who doesn't drop combos? No. I'm like, no, nah, it's going to be very that difficult to yeah. do. Yeah, it's going to be impossible. It's funny because you think about, you hear about all the tournament players, mm -hmm. and they're like, every time they're playing, like, you get tournament jitters. Yeah. I get stream jitters, knowing that there's a ten thousands of people watching, and right. I'm going to but lose you, in front of everyone. You also drop combos all the time at your desk. People are, oh, watching. People are watching this, people yeah. Watch uh, too. I do drop combos on my desk yes. quite a bit. Yes, you do. So, um, so that, for the most part, is uh, what's unique to this variation. Yep. Um, so let's go ahead and go and with sunglasses. Of and, and of course the sunglasses. And the sunglasses. The stunners, right? All right. Let's go back to player select and uh, we'll go over in the next variation. Yeah. Let's do uh, how about spec ops. Spec yeah. ops. I can definitely do. Let's do. Uh, I think Let's people see, probably want to see a little Kano. Oh yeah. See how they know, talk. See how they have a little talk hey, together. Hey. Yeah, I'm sure there's some there's some banter here. There's there's some history, some family history, some history there. Right. So. Ugh. Like some options. So rude. I wonder if we ever show that. Scum. Baby girl. First swing's on me. They're all gonna be on you. Round one. I absolutely think Brian's gonna be the one to talk over an intro. Yep. Yeah. He hasn't gotten the gen glare yet, but once you do. Yep. I, I haven't know. done it yet, have I? No, you haven't. No, you, you were close. close. You were close there. I was close. I was close. All right, so with the Spec Ops version, she has the uh, homing drone that she can call in, right? And naturally, she can do it at different distances. She can do a close one. She can do a full screen version. Um, and then, if you do the EX, it actually will distract you. If I can actually do it there, you see that big old laser? It's going to get you either way. So she has a, uh, if, if, uh, if a guaranteed pop-up. For the most part, with a special move. Right, and then of course she has the American way, which is just an awesome salute. Awesome taunt, yeah. Da -da. <laughs> People really, really love. That. Like I would the just love. I would that. sit back. I remember and asking uh, the sound department for a specific sound that I wanted to go along with that particular move. And what we got was beyond what I was expecting. I'm like this is awesome. This I, is gonna be the trolliest move right I there. I keep wanting to ask the sound department if I can get a uh, just a clip of it, so every time I get a text message, it goes. Burr. Burr. Awesome. <laughs> that would never get annoying. And I can't wait to play people who play as Cassie and just continue when they're just whooping your ass. Yeah. Just continue. You saluting you over and You're over again. You're gonna see it. You're gonna see oh, it. Oh man. Sure. Oh, I know, and it's gonna happen to me too. Oh, fruit. So, um, for the most part, she keeps a lot of her uh, fight style stays pretty much the same across all pretty variations. Much similar. Yeah, there's a little bit of a difference, but for the most part, it's... which is great because once you learn her combos, you can pretty much just uh, play any variation. From right. That you can adapt. You can play run away with the you know the Hollywood trade, jump up in the air, throw a lot of bullets around it. Just do some zoning for the most yeah, part. Zoning, part. And, and this was, was, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, no, okay. This one I like also because if you start getting into the run mechanics, mm -hmm. like this is a great one for bounce up run run combos. Oh yeah, Because you, you got to pop up anywhere on the screen if you're ready for it. So. Yeah, Cassia also is more of a uh, more of a run based character where she has doesn't have a straight traditional pop up. Right. Where a lot of her pop ups are kind of more of a distancey pop up. It makes you force you to use the run a little bit more, mm -hmm. um, and she's more down in your face type of character. Yeah, and we've definitely seen some really cool run combos from the guys in oh, QA. Yeah, like where you're like, how do you? Oh, wow. All right. right. All right. Sure, you can do that. Um, Definitely, yeah. Just like, especially with, with the uh, the next one we're gonna show. Yes. Uh, Brawler. Like, I I've played Brawler quite a bit. They're always well, kind of into the brawlers. I like the, guy, the characters who throw others. Guy, yeah. You can use your I guess I can use my okay. controller. <laughs> yeah, I've <laughs> always played characters who who use grabs, and uh, I play her well. I think I play her pretty well for me. But then you see the guys in QA doing just crazy run run cancels into into new stuff. It's it's pretty awesome. All right. Um, you want to do destroy city. city? Yeah. Love the middle finger. Mm. Yeah, nice touch. That's a little bit of her father's flavor. Hey, Humpty Dumpty. Only a fool would speak to me thusly. Only a dork would say thusly. Round one. Fight. Ah, Brian said <laughs> something. <laughs> okay, now this one we have. Uh, she has a tackle. Awesome punch. tackle. That's just embarrassing. Right. It's very UFC ish. This is new as well. This is just yeah. kind of a, a just newer added move. a newer gave her an extra grapple here. Um, this trade has mostly been a uh, variant has been mostly based off of more of a UFC influence. Right. Um, did a lot of research with that, kind of did a bunch of throws. Yeah. 
<laughs> so is that another bat? She also has uh, this is this is awesome too. You can do yeah, she in this throw, she in this in the in the brawler uh, variant. She also has an air throw. Right, it's nine or other variants. We 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 we. Come on, man. You trying, to, you trying to take me down? Yeah, but we, we, like we, like we got another like round to go, man. We got another round to go. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play some other bad. You, you're going to play with, with Quan Chi, no, a character you don't know how to play at? Totally alive. There we go. Now that you say it, quit punching me in the face. I don't want it. Get me out of the corner. Poggles! Poggles, I need you! <laughs> See? Look at that combo. <laughs> Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, almost, man. Almost got Oh, Puggles. Oh, man. I'm. Don't mess with Puggles. Oh, man. Hey! Come on over. Alright. 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 Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's going on? Oh, my. Oh, Whitey. Stop. Brutality. Oh. Brutality. Brutality. We're showing that today. Well, show brutality today. Brutal. What? Uh, so, uh, as you just saw, we have uh, we have brutalities now. Um, we'll awesome. talk to Brian about those here in a second. But first, let us run to a little montage we have to kind of show you how they how they how they look. So there we are. We're back. That is brutalities. Um, let's let's chat real quick with Brian. Yep. About so brutalities are a little different than brutalities we've seen in the past. Yeah, in the previous games there were just like a, a it was a button press, a multiple button press. You had to learn this lot, giant string. We wanted to make it much more accessible than that, and maybe kind of fit more with the gameplay. Right. It will definitely not affect the gameplay at all, where it won't like cause extra damage or anything like that. You won't have to worry about anything like that. Now a lot of them are based off maybe a special move. That'll happen, but there's other things that might have to happen before there it happens. There'll be conditions. There'll right. definitely be conditions like, you know, maybe like something like winning with a round with a throw or We something. totally talked over those intros. I didn't. I no, was we, quite... we were on camera. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Dang it. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of like it reminds me of back when, like, you used to really want to do some babality on somebody. Right. That second round, when you weren't blocking, yeah. people would know it. There's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, you get that feeling a lot. You'll see somebody trying to do, you know, trying to throw you at the end of a round. You're like, I know what you're trying to do. It's kind of that old, old school arcade feeling. When you right. know somebody's not throwing fireballs, you know they're trying for that bay ballot. You're like, right. it brings me back to that when arcade days when I was like, wow, I know you're trying to do something. I'm not going to mm -hmm. let you do it. And it has a lot of that kind of humiliation factor. You know, right. somebody just did that to you, especially if you can imagine the tournaments or right. the streams. And some of them have multiple things you have to accomplish. Yeah, and... there's, there's different levels of difficulty. Some right. will be harder, but majority of them will be not too challenging, but there'll be definitely ch uh, requirements. You right. Have to do. Can you give us an estimate on how many brutalities are in the game? There's over a hundred in the game. Over a hundred? Over a hundred That's, that's ridiculous. From what I can say, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So there's over 100 brutalities in the game. Uh, we're actually going to try to do a couple of them live here. Yep. Uh, don't try to guess what we're doing here to make them happen because we've changed some of the stuff so you won't be able to tell yet. Yep. So um, just yep. so you have to find it out later, maybe find a way to, to, to unlock them, do something. There's a lot of things you're going to learn later about how brutalities work. But right now we're just going to kind of maybe show you a couple. Yeah, we're going to show you, run through a few characters, different uh, versions of brutalities, and hope you enjoy. Let's do it. Yep. All right. So let's let's just let's see what Ermac can do, huh? 
Tyler's extremely happy because he gets to finally show off his Ermac. Yeah, I don't I don't play this variation as much as others, but yes. Oh, here we go. I'm watching, right? I remember how it wrapped off from the last time when I got destroyed. Well, it wasn't really destroying you, it was just more of keeping it to the basics, is what I like to call it. Block. And, it hurt my feelings. Uh, and throws. Yep. I did a lot of those. Mm, you did, yes. Right. And uh, that's what I call the winning formula, frankly. Right. It was, and we do have another matchup coming up today. Yes, we do. So. Well, we'll see who, who takes home the belt today, Tyler. Well, here we go. My money's on Tyler today. You are a fool. Oh. Oh. So you can imagine, like, if you get in that at the end of a swaggy combo, like, how much a crowd will just blow up, right? Yeah, you'll be able to, like, you know, combo into brutalities as well. Right. You know, whenever it makes sense. And, right. Uh, but, you know, one of the most important things, and you mentioned it earlier, which I think we just kind of just to, to rehash, that these brutalities don't do any extra damage nope. over any right. Like... They're definitely not going to give the player an advantage if you're at the end of right. the match and you're like, oh, I'll do a brutality to get more damage out of it. It's right. not a, it doesn't affect that. Well, there is, I'll tell you, there is a character that I've been playing with an unannounced character, no. where someone I've been playing with has noticed I keep doing the same thing because it's one of the requirements. Right. And then they're like, oh, I got I to gotta stop you from doing that. Yeah. You're just, and then, bam, pull it off. It's so, so much fun. It's very gratifying, it's too. It's gratifying because, like, when you know that they know you're trying it, mm -hmm. and then you still get it. Yeah, so they're trying to stop you. It's kind of like a mini game between the two players. Right, I, I'm very excited just because I've seen, you know, like you said, there's hundreds, like a, over a hundred of these. And I think I've seen most of them, and there are some ones we haven't shown that are awesome. There's some ones we already have shown that are awesome. Like, it's, it's going to be great. And just like fatalities, like, there's ones that are, like, uh, where you cringe at, and then other ones where you just laugh, and you're like, yeah. that is awesome. And that's why I, I think I love that, too, because Mortal Kombat is, you know, there, there's, you know, there's, there's the, the great gruesome for fatalities, but there's also always a little bit of tongue-in-cheek comedy. A someplace. little humor. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the thing. And that is what we... Part of Mortal Kombat. Exactly. Before I even worked on it. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna need that head back. Ouch. But I'm, yeah, I'm excited to see how the fans start getting them and finding the ones that are the most... I don't love the word, but... The most trolly oh, to yeah. do to people. There are some trolly ones that yeah. I really, really love. All right. And we also know that you guys want to see more characters too, like okay. Ferator. We want to show more off in the yep. future, along with Devora, and we will definitely get to those as well, guys. Yeah, we have all these things planned out, and we're gonna, you know, keep doing this stuff. And I know there are some characters like today. We did Cassie. I yep. know that Ferator is definitely a popular character. Mm -hmm. um, I'd love to show that off. Um, so we'll do that very soon too. Kano. Hello, my lovely. You repulse us, hideous one. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Don't bugger. <laughs> nice, nice. Do you have any swaggy, swaggy stuff? Another word I don't like. But. Yeah, um... I don't know, man. I haven't played Devorah in a while. Yeah, there we go. Oh. I'll just control it out. I like to push you across this screen. Brutality. Oh, come my child. Come back to mommy. Feed my children. That's right. Oh, man, that's so good. So is that what she says? That's awesome. Whatever things she can say. That's one of my favorites. It's like, that's it's awesome. Very, yeah. Uh, it's alien inspired. It's very you know, unexpected. Yeah. yeah. Who we got? Who do you want to do next? I'm going to do Kung Lao. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, I think, I think we may have hinted towards this one a little bit before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this one definitely, um, the the, uh, the message boards blew up after we first showed Kung Lao with his throw. People mm -hmm. were thinking, hey, that must be a brutality, and like we just actually was just his throw. We'll get back to it after a second. <laughs> a dead man walks. You will know the sting of winter. You have found your demise. Round one, fight. Whew. Yes, anyway, so he has a throw that everyone was kind of when they saw. We sh they showed a little tiny clip in a video. Right, and people are so nervous, you know, get spayed up it all over the place and have its own. Right. Like, is that a fatality? Is right, that a brutality? Right. Everything about it. Nick Nick Castro is a special way on that one. Right, all right. 
Now, I really like this one too because we also kind of hinted towards this before. Like, when we play against Nick, or not Nick, but uh, Ray, and he's all about pressing the buttons, right? This is like another one where some of the, some of the requirements may be the button mash while you're doing the move. So, right. So, for this one instance, smashing the button. Punches his head clean off. Which is awesome. Yeah. Oh gosh. And it just hangs there for. That a was one bit. of those moves that kind of just asked. Okay, you have to make a brutality. Yeah, there's right. nothing you can do about it. Well, when that move got shown, I was so one of my favorite parts of the job is like that after you show a video, seeing seeing the stuff that people picked out that they loved, and Kung Lao's throw was, was one of the things they're like, oh my god, that's so weird. Bear. So who we got next? Oh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do Raiden real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's do. We could do Quan Chi. I like beating up on Quan Chi. Ooh, he deserves it. Dude, we're a marketplace. Yeah, show it off. It show it off. Nick right. spent a lot of time getting the face look just right on this one. I gotta, gotta make sure he gets right. Sure. One of his requests for the stream. <laughs> Quan Chi. My dark magics will overwhelm you. Lightning cuts through the dark. Round one. Fight! There we go. Uh oh. I missed it. I thought you were going to show something off here. <laughs> I played Quan Chi when we first had it put him out there, and then I just kind of forgot to. <laughs> then I just forgot. I got busy doing work stuff, and I forgot that I. Oh, okay, now you're just trying to see it. Now this being me. Yeah, some retaliatory blocks will never require you to do an X amount of moves throughout the match. Ooh, I was inside of you there. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I think that's what we named the move, right? Believe, right? <laughs> never, never say that. Yeah, oh, all right. <laughs> but I mean, look at him. He just popped out of you. That's great. You know what I think? I think we need to uh, give it back to Raiden now. You think so? I'm going to give it back yeah. to Raiden. Okay, totally. Quanchi Raiden. That's only fair. It's only fair. <laughs> We just did that, didn't we? Well, my bad. That's all right. My bad. That's okay. It's all right. But the payoff will be worth it. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. Crawl back to the Nether Realm. I will give your friends your regards. Do not mock me, Quan Chi. Round one. All right. No shit, can I, let's let's fight. You wanna fight? <clears throat> no, no, I'm totally gonna lose this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I right, think right. it's not for the belt, so that's all I can do. Are we fighting for the belt again today? We are fighting for the belt today. Uh, oh, there we go. I don't get to play as my preferred character to play, but I will take you with. Are, are you re you're really gonna use that excuse that you're not playing with your preferred character? You played you've played with Scorpion more than most. Who said I would what said I was gonna play with Scorp? So that's what we had talked about earlier. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let's do a little blanch. Yeah, that's blanche. Blanche. There we go. Heck yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright. You ready? I'm ready. Blood rains down. More of a blood part. shower. My favorite part is the head coming down. The head popping yeah. yeah. You kind of think it's, it's over. You it's think a it's little tongue-in-cheek. You know? It really is. See, that's right. the classic, you know. So, I think we've shown some. Yeah. We don't want to show too much, although there is over a hundred of You know, there's probably do. 90 or plus yeah. more. So, yeah, some hidden, some, I mean... Could be, could be. Based yeah. vari variations, maybe. Could be. Yeah, oh yeah. No. You're just going to have to wait and find out. Um, Two rounds. Yeah, I uh, I read a, st a stat today. Mm -hmm. It's 47 days until the game comes. Is out. it really it's scary to think of that? Yeah. It's 47 wow, days. I'm so excited for you to it's see very it. Very fun. Oh gosh, this is gonna uh, be great. We're gonna we're gonna answer a few questions we've gotten from Twitter, from message boards, things like that. Um, so real quick, so always you can always tweet us your questions. Um, and we're so sorry we can't get back to all of them. I mean, and there's obviously there's some stuff that. Although we might want to answer, yes, we'd kind of rather you be surprised by some things. Yeah. So, characters, stuff like that. You know, we're gonna we're gonna wait on a lot of that. 
Um, but we do really try to read as many of them as possible, and a lot of them make us laugh. I like I like some of the things you guys write. Some of them are super mean, which is some, great. And usually directed towards me or Tyler. Yeah, that's just fine. That's yeah. fine. Um, so for some questions. People have been asking a lot about the combat pack, mm -hmm. and what is the combat pack? Uh, the combat pack is it will include uh, four additional playable characters mm -hmm. that are uh, still in development. Yeah, I mean they're not on disc; they're still in development. Okay, um, and we'll and, and also they also come with a bunch of really cool skins. Yes, some, I can't. I'm not gonna say mm. what, but there's some there's great some skins. I cannot wait to get. Yeah. So it's four characters and a bunch of skins. Um, we'll talk. We can talk probably more about some of that next month. Sure, but just that's kind of what it is. And people also want to know. If you don't purchase a special edition, will you still be able to buy the combat pack? Well, will you, Tyler? Absolutely, you can still Great buy the news. combat pack in addition to the special uh, special editions. So that's helpful. And, uh, you know, we know the characters that are coming, and they're very exciting. So, you know, that's... Combat pack's a pretty cool thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, people want to know what's sold out right now. What is sold out, Tyler? There's one thing that's sold out. The Amazon Collector's Edition import is sold out in the U.S., but you can still purchase it in Europe. Awesome. So if you're watching from Europe right now... Go get it. Get on it. Go get it. Um, question for Derek. Oh, hello. You ready? I am. We talked about factions. We did. What? Let's say you join... Like, for me, mm -hmm. I am going to be day one mm -hmm. Black Dragon. I'm thinking Special Forces. I thought we were going to be in the same one. I didn't tell you that. Oh, that's, that's oh, bad, dude. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm totally going to wow. change from Special Forces to be with you in Black Dragon. Could you do that? I could absolutely do that any time during the game. Without any consequences. Mm, there are consequences. Yes. You're going to lose anything that you acquired for that faction. Because you know what? You turned your back on them. You did. Gone. But who's to say you can't be the best ever and rank up all of your factions? Ooh, I wonder if you would get something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know either. It could happen. Uh, one thing, we, we, I just like doing stuff like this. We got a, a birthday shout out. Happy birthday? To at Lizard OTR. Happy birthday. A, tw a Twitter follower. Um, happy birthday, bud. Sh should we sing to them? Uh, we <clears throat> can't actually, because that song is copyright. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Happy All birthday, right. still copyright. Happy birthday. <laughs> Don't use the tune. Okay. Okay. Happy Both birthday. There we go. Not Sorry. the song, that counts. Sorry. Um, All right. Uh, finally, this is a really fun one. People have asked a whole bunch because you know it's super awesome how all the characters talk to each other with like right. with lore based stuff or just you know, insults. People have wondered what happens if there's a mirror match. Or should we do it? Let's do Scorpion versus Scorpion. Okay, all right, I'm into that. You're gonna have to press A. I will yeah, press some A. Some really good ones. Yeah, let's some do really Scorpion really versus Scorpion ones. and show them one. Scorpion. Scorpion. All right. Uh, let's do in the jungle. Oh wait, we can't sing that song anymore. Okay. No. There's the musical one yeah. to work with. I is like the, to. I have to hear him singing, humming, whistling, clicking. Which? Old Scorpion. The sight of you affects me. Your death will be swift. Round one. Fight. Yes, I do like to sing the day away. You yeah, are 100 percent correct. So there we go. That's a, a mirror match intro between Scorpion and Scorpion. Yeah. Uh, you know what I think it's time for, Derek? Um, I think I do know what it's time for. Hand, hand the belt to me. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to shine that. Thank you. Do not let Tyler touch it, because losers don't get to touch winner's belts. All right? There we go. Let me get this. Let me get this on. Feel the power. Oh, yeah. Come on home, Daddy. There we go. All right. Do you think we can pull off some brutalities during this? I hope you guys can. I am just going to try to stay in it. Yeah, you're just going to try to win. Maybe one or two that I haven't seen yet. All right, good luck. Thanks. Oh, man. I'll eat some salt. Mm. By me or him? Why know. is the winner salty? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Doesn't make I just sense. don't want your loser germs on me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wow out. That's right. Our creator is part of us. I will remove him. Round one. Bring it, Lance, down. And we've started pretty well. Tyler, are you pressing the buttons? I'm trying to. That many blocks to This could be a perfect. Oh! No. 
Oh, here comes Tyler's swaggy combos. There you go. There you go. Bink. Not out yet. Bink. Try and chip him out. Bink. Got a while out. Bink. Come on, Tyler. Come here. Come here, Tyler. Go ahead, do Bink. it. Just do it. Woo! That was pretty fast. Yeah. Oh damn it. Yeah, it didn't really. Oh, hey, Jen, man. Jen, can we please have uh, cameras on us for a moment? Is this a, is something important? It, no, I just need to do, I need to do a, a slight rearrangement of something. You, you're putting in a coat? What? What? I'm terrified. No, we're good. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Hellfire. Okay. Just okay. Dial it back a notch. All right, we're, if I we're can ready. Do that. We're ready. Super nervous. Oh, I'm not. I'm really. You've played my Ermac a lot, and I have a really good Ermac, right? You do have an Ermac that you play. We too were born of sorcery. Do not compare yourself to me. Very well, do one. Round one. <sighs> I'm skipping those intros a lot harder. Yeah, I was, see? I know, I thought I was making fun of you guys on the stream. Though. Yeah, you're like, I watched the stream. Well, it's because you don't have the, the, the volume side. You don't know what's coming. Come on, man. Oh, oh. One of my childhood friends here. He's definitely my top guy. Yeah. I'm gonna travel around a lot. This is this is going down somewhere. Yeah, not not us. Oh, that's bad. Oh no. Wow! Ah! Wow! 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 Ooh, uppercut to the jump. That is a classic win, is what I like. Right. Yeah, old school Mortal Kombat uppercut. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at that. Did you? This is what they call a meter building round? Oh yes, yeah, exactly what they're doing. Jumped it. Ah! Oh. Woo! Sense of security over there. Yeah, yeah he did. Alright, alright. Here we go. Whenever you're done, I would like to fight. <laughs> It. Oh wow, okay. okay. The low pokes of the overhead is just stop. You would think of it. Yeah. Sorry, Lance. Oh, this isn't tight. Nice and close. No! Oh. No! Oh. Oh. Sandy got you in a brutality. Oh, it just blew you up. You don't even need to win the belt now after that. You stay out of this. You stay out. Right? No, you, you stay, stay out of this. Come right? on, I'm on your side. No. I didn't know. Okay. I just, you know, everyone's right. you, 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 know you got carried away. With I did moment. not give our viewers what they wanted, which is my best. And so now I'm going back to my ninjutsu square. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna. I apologize to the viewers. Yeah, they're they're super angry at you for this. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. I would be. Man, how'd you like that? Just getting. Just. I didn't think you could do it. I really didn't think you would actually pull one off. Well, if I can get a good start on you, it's good. I mean, yeah. Um, otherwise, not so much. We serve our world and its emperor, 
You will fall by my hand. Round one. Fight! <sighs> Salty. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Doesn't make I just sense. don't want your loser germs on me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wow Sasha out. Khan. That's right. Our creator is part of us. I will remove him. Round one. Fight. Bring it, Lance down. And we've started pretty well. I like to the I'm trying to. Yeah, we won. This could be perfect. Oh! No. No. Oh, here comes Tyler's swaggy combos. There you go. There you go. Not out yet. Try and chip him out. Gotta wow out. Come on, Tyler. Come here, Tyler. Go ahead, do it. Just do it. That was pretty fast. Yeah. All right. Oh, no. Nah, you don't have to drop that. Oh. Damn it. Can we please have uh, cameras on us for a moment? Nice to see ya. Must everything be a joke? Yeah, it does. Round one. Fight. We also have no idea what they just said. I don't know what they said. I'll have to look at it later when we watch the stream. This is A list Johnny Cage. Now, what, what can A list do? Um, this is kind of a technical little trickster, kind of fake out maneuver uh, variation. He, can, he still has the flip kick here, but most of the specials he can now charge. Kind of dash cancel in and out of. So if I just do the regular flip kick, uh, I, don't, I don't 
combo. But if I do the regular flip kick, you can't really juggle it. But if I get any kind of um, held version of it, it's easier to give me any kind of juggle. If I hold right. the full version, you get a pretty big combo. You know, you can right. do any kind of stuff after that. Like, Right. Um, same thing is uh, a way to his other trade just or another variation to just knock the guy straight away. But this one you're also able to charge him. Charging his back punch too. Yeah, and as well as being able to bash him in and out so you can kind of big wake up someone. Yeah. Like, like, and also like even his so, shadow kicking in blue also is able to. Well, shadow kick as well. You hold that down. There's a lot of just tricky variations with this to keep going in and going for a throw, or actually throw the move out. For sure. Um, the one big thing in this one that's going to create a lot of uh, unsafe situations, make him safe if you got meter, is in this one his nut punch, um, it can be meter burn on reaction, like hit confirm. So normally in the other versions, if you EX the nut punch, you're pretty much committed to it, and if they block, you have to eat the recovery and potentially a big combo. But in this one, I see a hit, oh, I can meter burn at any time, and um, you can go right into it again. So you can kind of throw it out willy-nilly, as long as you have a meter, your opponent has pretty much respect. You know, mm -hmm. That was like a sick nut punch, dude. Nice job on that. Thank you. Is that a thing? Him hitting sick, him sick, sick nuts. You might get rewarded for doing that. Who knows? Nut you, you might. You might do something for that. What do you iron me for? So there's ice cream in Outworld, Chubby? <laughs> That's your last go at me. Round one. Fight. It's probably an issue because you don't hear it anymore. There you go. That's 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 so you don't know that you're talking. They don't realize that I can't hear anything. So you're not stupid. No. It's just not here. Well, uh, so one thing you will first of all notice, like every variation, fisticuffs, there is a visual indicator to tell you which one you're using. Besides, up in the corner, he's wearing those. Yep, he's got the uh, brass knuckle bling on there. The, the cage so rings. Both of his uh, hands there. So let's kind of get started and talk about uh, what stuff, what kind of moves are always with Johnny Cage. Okay, um, so everyone should be familiar with his uh, pretty traditional moves. He's got the uh, fireball and the version. Uh, he's got the trident uh, shadow kick there. Um, he's got the classic uh, punch there. <laughs> the X version of the punch. I, uh, Results in the pop-up. Yep, we get a pop-up off the X. Um, and then he's got, uh, currently in this trade, he has uh, this flip kick, which is, or a variation, I should say, he has another one more with it. Um, he also has, you want to do the, uh, the red? Yeah, yeah. One of the pretty unique things and very uh, damaging things in this variation is that when Johnny Cage turns uh, into danger mode, low health, he, uh, he gets all of his red stuff, which is kind of the old glitch, and obviously he can get the random red shot in here. He's actually mm -hmm. the game where it's almost kind of like a uh, maybe an Easter egg. <laughs> yes, an Easter egg. An Easter egg that, yes, that's true. Like, um, so yeah, so as he has this, he will get a new throw. throw punch me one more time. Yeah. Oh. So he has a new throw here. So, I'm going to down. so as he's red, he gets more more health, more damage, or not more uh, health, more damage on all of his uh, moves. Go ahead. And We'll show, we'll show real quick the uh, the stuff he kind of gets with Fistica. Okay, so in his uh, this variation, he has this buff. There it is. Cracks his knuckles together there, and you can see he's got the uh, bling coming off his knuckles. While he has this, he does a uh, chip damage uh, increase. So if you want to block there, you'll see here's the four. So it's the average. You can block that one. Oh, yeah. So you can see it's very minor. Right. Um, and now when you activate this, okay. it's pretty considerable. So, yeah, so this 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 Johnny Cage is a really good Johnny Cage too. Uh, this will favor the rush down, the aggressor, someone who likes to get out of the opponent and not uh, get the Because we know that from the old you know, Johnny Cage in MK9, uh, getting in there in the corner doing some chip damage is really like yep. where he shines. Especially um, especially with the uh, the run mechanic, it's gonna have a lot more combo, especially if you run and get on the eye. For example, like this, see if I can uh, charge that up. I can, you know, after you knock down the guy, you can go right into the, uh, right into the power up. Um, I'm going to get me down to the road to show you. Speak up a little bit for the guys there, Mike. Sure. Uh, no problem. Do um, a couple more. Okay. So, right here, he should. There we go. All of these. Uh, you notice the damage there? Pretty chunky. I'll go to the block so you know. Right. But, um, yeah, I'll do it there. R2. 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 Right. <laughs> The EX uh, shadow kick here, full screen, it's hard to see that there, but you'll hit full screen. And he also has a new string as well, uh, yes. which is really... This is the, the coup de gras, this will kill you, but we'll um, we'll show you, right, we'll kill you with it. So I'll do it uh, with it here, if you hold um, away and you do this, he kind of does a little flurry punch. Normally, you know, it's pretty devastating, but when you have this buff, 
goes into super chip mode, and then you can see. Yep, I'm down to danger there. Yeah, in the corner, that is just. Yeah, you can do a lot of crazy, you know, classic MK juggle combos in the corner with that stuff. But you have to fun. So that's really good. Yeah, throwing the autograph down as usual. So that's a really good thing for guys who really like getting in there, rushing in, doing their damage, turning on chip. You followed me. You need me here. Has anyone ever agreed with that statement? Round one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Wearing, wearing the shades. Uh, this is called stunt double, and there's just there's one major reason it's called that. Yeah, and this one he does lose the flip kick, but he does gain this. He's got his little tr trusty uh, stunt double there, which gives him two charges of his special moves, physical uh, physical special moves. So he's got one shadow kick that he can shoot, or I can shoot my other one. I'm also able to follow them up. So say I were to shoot this out here, I can kind of chase after it. You know. Right. Um, let me get some. So like an example, pretty much after any kind of string, you might want to, you know, power yourself up right there, and you can do some pretty cool stuff. Pop you guy up, you know, charge in, a little run combo like that. Really cool. Keep yourself safe. I can't believe you hit that first try. Me too. I practiced really that good. for like an hour. I was like, oh, <laughs> went the autopilot right there. Good times. Um, let's see. So he's got also his fireball. In this version, um, it stays straight. You don't want you don't forget the. Uh, right. You still can do the. Uh, So in this one you still get the, the double. So the mimic does allow for a lot of Yeah, and this one's great too. Stuff. I know, like when when I play Cage, I'm always I always try to do wake up uh, shadow kick all the time, and it's, you know you're gonna get punished that way. But here your shadow kick will you can do it from mid screen. Yeah, so. yeah, that's one of the things too. Like it's kind of. Um, you see a lot of projectile in character, single projectile, single hitting move, and they throw it out. Um, I was playing some matches with some guys um, the other day, and I haven't really put too much like, serious time in uh, Cage Target learning all the intricacies. But after these past few days, I realized he's got a lot of cool, um, a lot of cool right. take it down and each other. But like, so you want to do like a fireball or something? Let's see. Well, I wasted, but basically, like, if right. you were to zone someone out, he has a pretty much an instant, right. like, you know, get right next to me kind of move. Mm -hmm. uh, I can do a full EX uh, screen. Um, but yeah, the Mimic adds a lot of great help with a lot of jokes. Stuff. I mean, obviously, the MK corner stuff is pretty, pretty, right. uh, I'd frame pretty that. So that, that Johnny, Johnny, this Johnny has a wins. very good way of kind of, you can stay mid-screen, but he also has some stuff to get in quickly yep. using the Mimic, all the yep. Mimics he gets. For some, it is difficult to rise, to stand above the rest, to conquer as a true warrior. But not for those who share the bloodlines of champions. Ready? As always. What's your update from Colonel Flagg? He said, why are you bothering me? And I said, because my ex-wife is a pain in it. Prisoner transfer will be here in 20. Oh, now she trusts me to babysit. Well, if they don't kill us, my mother will. Sucks. I hate, <laughs> I hate losing every time. And everyone's like, mm hmm. You're done, Melina. You betray me too. 
I prefer the winning side. Round one, fight. Ah. No! There we are. Don't get too anxious with parries. Smart, smart use. All right, you have the lead. Now, Turtle, just relax. Let her come to you. Exactly. See, perfect. One or two knives. Don't. Yeah, Look out for the teleport. Don't do too many knives. See? No! Oh! All right, all right. All right. We're, on grab. We're on it. See, a variant select, a variant change is all you need sometimes. Maybe use that vine? No, I don't. Don't use the vine. <laughs> I'll use the vine oh. now. Uh oh. Oh, Dumb. Oh, you yellow the x -ray. Perfect. Was that yellow or was that a, that was a read? That was a read. Can you, that's just a good read. Thank you. you guys are a team. I don't listen to anything you have to say at this point. Okay, I think you've gone for the parry. You've gone to the parry well one too many yeah. times. Feeling better? Anti air uppercut. Gotcha. Uppercut. Gotcha. Fine. He's jumping around like a maniac. Oh. Oh. Okay, relax. Relax. Stay calm. Good. Good parry. You got momentum back. No. Excellent. Excellent. That's going to be big damage. All right, now stay back. Stay back. Protect your lead. Excellent. No! No, 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 no! I don't know what it is! Alright, this is the point. The tournament set where he's panicking and you're in control. I'm freaking out right now! He's freaking out. He's freaking out. So, 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. This has never even happened before, has it? I don't even know, man. I'm feeling good, though. You, you want to switch variations? You're good. No. Melina. I want my gold back, Kano. <laughs> Sorry, no refunds. Round one, fight! Good, back off. Oh no. I thought he was gonna move, he usually does, right? Alright, yeah, keep her in the corner. Watch out, wake up roll, wake up roll. No! Stop it, Steve! You're supposed to commentate, not coach. When you get hit by a side, just go ahead and block. Mm -hmm. Again, Steve! We're gonna have to ask you to leave! Oh, I cancelled too much. Good, good, good. You're, you're nailing those uh, throw punishes. I'll tell you what. Oh no. She's gonna jump out. Excellent. Oh no! We're fine. We're fine. Are we fine? Are we fine? I'm right. fine. You're fine. You're I'm Steve, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave if you keep this. He up. invited me here. I, uh, oh, this is. This I is always crap. get my, my. This is crap. My, I just my combos are coming to the stream. Oh, hold on. You're gonna do a combo. You're gonna do a fucking. You did a combo. You did a combo. Oh, oh no. no. We're, we should just end this and call it a win. Oh my gosh. Low blocks. Oh. All right, relax. Yep. Don't relax. take any risks. Gotcha. Don't take any risks. No unnecessary risks. Like that? Yeah. Oh. Don't freak out. You're freaking out. Don't no, freak no, out. No, you're no, freaking no. out. You're, you're making me freak out. You totally freaked out. You freaked out. Oh, that's fun. That is fun. That's one. That is one. Tasty. Woo! He freaked out. He totally freaked out. You know her, we. I don't want to, but I can. No can. Smash tour. Round one. Fire. I have to say, I love all of Farah Tor's intros mm -hmm. because Farah is hilarious. She's amazing. She's adorable. She cracks me up every single time. So let's talk a little bit about Kung Jin. So Kung Jin is a Shaolin monk and uh, his his uh, universal moves kind of reflect that. He has uh, 
some original stuff of his own. He has this cool flip kick, which he can use to end combos, or the EX1 has armor, so you can absorb attack, or uses a wake-up attack. He uses his magical bow here, and he has kind of a standard straight projectile that's... He doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's pretty quick. And then he has an anti-air projectile, if the opponent likes to jump around. And the EX1 will do two arrows at the same time. And then his other Shaolin Monk kind of moves are he has a flying kick, where he uses his bow to get off the ground. And then a classic uh, dive kick, like his cousin Kung Lao. And then uh, Ancestral, he is, it's all about the arrows. He can do more moves in the air. He can do it at different angles. You have like a short one, a straight one, a long one, and then a low arrow. So it's going to be more of a projectile battle, far away. It's just a zoning fest. Yeah. And then the really cool thing is he can power up his arrows with the spirits of his ancestors, and they give him different abilities. Like he can um, have fire arrows, which do a lot of damage and knock people to down. And he can do this, you can see the arrow in the back actually turns red, and that'll last about six seconds, and you can do it as many times as you want, or as little as you want. So you all, you have those for a time, uh, yes. a certain amount yes. of time. Then he also has one where he will drain the opponent's super meter. You can see down there, every time they hit, he loses a little bit of super meter. That, that is ridiculous. And then Man. he has a blue one that is a stun arrow. They'll be in that little magical shield thing, and he can run in and get a combo. And you can do all of these arrows also in the air, yes. low. They power everything. up all his air attacks. Awesome. Awesome. So that's Ancestral. And we should just go ahead and go to the next one. You provoke me? Just want to test myself against you. You are not ready. Round one. Fight. Can so this one. Yeah, this is absolutely canon. This one is all about using the bow as a staff. He gains some really good special moves that are like combo starters or combo extenders. He gets this one, and then that allows him to start combos. He gets this one, which is like a low spin, and then he gets a middle spin that he can use to extend or end his combos. So I think this one's going to be all about getting up close, doing big damage. I think this is the one that if you like to do high damaging flashy combos, this is the one for you. And then another really cool thing about it is well, he gets one more move, which is this air fireball. And the whole use of this one is you can you can tell that his range using a weapon like this is very good. Like he has some of the some of the best range in the game, and the opponent is naturally gonna want to jump in. Right. If you can't beat him on the ground, beat him in the air. And that's where the air fireball will come in. So you can kind of put out the air fireball. And then they're not going to dare jump with that off. And then you get to run up and you get to do all your neat little bow moves that you gain from being in this one. Take a look at his throat. Yeah. Awesome. Use some of uh, that. Give a little, little taste of the x ray to finish it, too. Oh, yeah. There you go. We have a little code that won't be in the final game where you can actually give us meters. So we can show you guys a little easier. What about his fatality? Um, are do, we ready I mean, for that? Do you know how to do it? Maybe. Okay. Should we, uh, should we wait for the last variation? Apparently not. It's too Steve, late. Steve holds nothing back. Kung Jin wins. Fatality. There we go. Call me. Call me. Totally. <laughs> Kung Jin keeps a phone in his quiver, so... <laughs> Well, he is a modern he, you're right. monk. Yeah, he is. That's true. Well, you really you went down on me on that one. You went hard on me on that one. Gonna test you, Jen. Gonna get me an A++. Or be flat on your ASS. Round one. Fight. So Shaolin, he gains this chakra, which you can see on his hip right there. And that's really cool because it's gonna change a bunch of his normal attacks. Not just you know, some combos. He gets a bunch of new moves where he uses it. Then, he also gains the ability to throw the chakra like a projectile. He can aim it up, he can aim it down, he can do the EX1 which will come back like a boomerang, and he gains a low one that he can use, and he can do the boomerang with that too. So that's going to be really good, not just for zoning, but it'll be good in offense. Like, let's say the opponent is blocking. I'm blocking. Well, I accidentally opened you up. 
So let's say, let's say they're crouch blocking. Okay, there we go. You gotta, you gotta give me a little bit of a idea what to do. Alright, crouch blocking. Throw it, and if it hits, you get a combo, and if they're blocked, then you can just maintain your pressure. Oh, they're wow. still forced to block, and then you can do an overhead or a low or a throw. And it's nice because on hit, you get a combo when it comes back too. And then the last move he gains is an upgrade to his kind of flying kick where he goes up in the air. You can do that as like a combo ender, or you can do that from full screen and drop down. Awesome. Cool. Um, so that is Chung uh, Jin. Mm -hmm. So that's our little extra surprise. Of, and there's surprises aren't done. Oh no! No, we got one more here in a little bit. One more. Okay. Um, so I think it's time. Let's uh, let's get some. And he made a mistake asking me to play Raiden. Yeah. Kung Lao. Forgive me, Lord Raiden. I forgive your impending failure. Round. I almost did it there. I did. Are these guys in like their own like hat tier? Yeah, this, yeah. this is a uh, hat plus tier. Ooh! Oh, ho, ho. I gotta say, the belt's over. you've been trying that all day and I haven't seen you hit it, so no. that was awesome. I'm legitimately oh. surprised. What's also cool about this, uh, Kung Lao, or is it this one that can move his spin? One of them can do that as well. Or, uh, it's the uh, Tempest spin. Oh, the Tempest. Yeah, the regular spin, you can actually hold it down and you can travel back and forth. Okay, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> Here, here's some more throws. There it is. <laughs> Well, you already got your best combo. I don't think it's, it's not getting better for you. No, that was, that was the peak of this fight. Oh, right into it. Delayed wake up. More punches. Just for Can we talk much about delayed wake up in this? No, uh, um, 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 similar to uh, what you had in MK9, you can uh, delay the wake up, but you can't stay down there forever. So, uh, um, a set time. You can, uh, you also have the ability to back dash and wake up, which you can do before. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you see what uh, they're trying to land a lot of throw side combos, um, um, those do lead to some good damage, but then um, the opponent can also escape out of those throws the regular way, so you know he's going to go for throw side of the combo with the opposite. Oh, God. That meter bird one confuses me every time. It's awesome. There's like hats playing a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, oh, God! I can't even get out of here. Awesome. You're not fooling. You're not fooling. <laughs> That's so cute. I love it. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Finish him. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> One way to stop your hat. That was, that was, that was nice. So this next fight. Is Do not even think. You're right. You're unworthy. Round one. Fight. All right. As there, you'll notice, there is that beauty. She looks amazing in this game. All right. Now, um, for we're gonna go over her common moves for, uh, to start off with. Show, show her move around a little bit. Because okay, her sure. movement's just really elegant. Yes. Um, she. Well, we'll get into that. Okay. We got plenty of time. All right. So first, uh, her common specials. She has the straight side. She can cast it to do uh, double sides. She has her teleport, and of course she can do her EX teleport. She has her traditional ball roll, and uh, if I can remember how to go, there we go. Uh, and of course she can EX that. That's common across all variations, all right? Um, what's special to this specific variation is the fact that she can teleport. And she can actually uh, disappear for an extended period of time. She can go forward, she can go back. So what you can do is do some fun little mix-up combos where you actually set yourself behind the player to do more, uh, more damage. That's so great. Man. And it'd also be really good for running away from the opponent, mm -hmm. playing a keep-away game. Or if somebody's trying to just kind of zone you out, you just kind of hold it down and extend it to whenever you want to come back. And she has an EX version of that, which uh, hides her even faster. It's funny because we've played we've played this variation and Ermac has his disappear. So there are moments of time during the game where we just both disappear. Yes, it, it, it's pretty it's pretty creepy. 
And um, you'll notice her personality is very prevalent in this game as well. She likes to play around with the opponents and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to get to show it off. Absolutely. Um, and for the most part, for Ethereal, that's it. It's all about the setups with these size. Yeah. All right. This is going to be really interesting to see how some of these people take to this this variation. Just starting a combo, going behind, going the other direction, always moving around. Right. Probably yeah. the most mobile version, would you it's say? It's definitely the most mobile and probably one of the best for uh, if someone has some good zoning attacks, some good projectile attacks, hiding from that. Mm -hmm. and then I think eventually people will have setups where they end a combo and then teleport directly behind them or maybe right in front of them, mm -hmm. or they don't teleport at all, and that'll be kind of a mix-up. I also like to call it the trolley variation because <laughs> once you got a life lead, you can just keep hiding yourself and getting away from the opponent. So uh, with that said... Should let's go to the next variation. Well, let's why don't you just finish him off real quick. All right. You, you want me to? Truly. You do? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Girls gotta eat. Yeah, Girls gotta that's, eat. That's it. That's right. That's pretty much it. Let's uh let's check out some of the other ones then. Okay, absolutely. Let's do that. Now I've the, the, we, we we talk about variations a lot, mm -hmm. and what we have seen. Go ahead and pick characters real quick here. Okay. Uh, is that Melina. Melina's everything's so different, and I've seen you play with each variation, and each variation I have to learn mm -hmm. how to combat that. Yeah. Um. We'll wait till this is done. <laughs> <laughs> You're done, Melina. You betray me too. I prefer the winning side. Round one. Fight. What uh what I do really like about Melina too is that her combos are pretty much universal. Except they get a different twist on them, right? So with uh this version of Melina, the Ravenous, she has um bite combos where she actually will bite the jump on them and start to bite them. And you can actually do a button input to extend that height. Oh, I didn't do it. I missed my window. So you see she does a couple more bites than the guy, right? But in addition to that, she also has uh, some command chain grabs as well. Which you were practicing before the stream. Yeah. And you were doing very well. I was, so we'll see how, <laughs> how I do here. 100% right? success rate. Oh, so, so you can do just the normal one, and she'll just roll back, or you can oops, you can extend it with a side stab, or you can do it again and do a kick at the end. So depending upon where you want that placement on screen is how you're going to extend it, or if you want to do the the maximum damage, you're going to do all three hits. Right. right. So if you want to kick them into the corner, you could choose to do the final ender. But if you want to keep them mid screen or maybe swap positions, you can choose to end it too. Right. And so for her other one, which is called the low pounce, uh, she'll actually leapfrog over the player, which we, we suspect a couple people are going to love to do this to their opponent. You finished matches with me with this, yeah. by hopscotching over me. Because it's so much fun. It's fun um, for me too, yeah. <laughs> but of course you can extend this one as well. So she'll go into that, break their arms, right? And then she'll roll away. Or you can extend it. Did I do the, oh, I did the wrong button? It's all right. We knew this was coming. Or she'll just go ahead and sit on their head <laughs> and just bounce them off the ground, right? And so she gets the the additional bite combo. She also gets the the chain grabs in this variation as well. And you'll notice that she doesn't have the mask, so you can see her pre very pretty face. So th th well, this would you say would be a more of an in-your-face version of, of Melina? Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be really good for mix-ups. You'll be able to mix up over the 4-3 overhead attack or the low grab. So when you say, uh, just for those who don't play a lot of fighting games, when you say something like mix-up. Mix-up meaning you have to make the opponent guess between which attack you're going to be. Maybe it's an attack that they have to block standing or an attack that they have to block ducking. So right. you're basically going to put them in a position where they have to guess what you want to do. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, so for her last... Creation. My personal favorite is the piercing. I've seen this one a few times. Well, you, this is uh, this is the one I usually play. Yeah. She looks so good. I'm excited that you're able to, to, to talk uh, about Molina today. Today's like my day. I'm right? so excited we get to fight with them. Uh -huh. like, uh. 
the breakdown. Hopefully all the Molina players out there will be super happy now that they get to see her. I don't see how they couldn't be yeah. after that. So. Elder Gods, damn you! The Elder Gods reward strength. Then I will have my due. Round Beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> and now with her side variation, her piercing variation, um, of course she can still do the air size, but she also has this low split side that she can do too. So you can just kind of zone your opponent out, right? Just be like, I'm gonna have to And you have to block low yes. to get that one, yeah. Um, and of course you can EX it where she'll do an additional side attack too. Um, and also, what's special to this is she has psi uh, combos as well. And just like the biting one, you can extend this attack so she does additional stats. And then she has this one, which is kind of like a classic MK2 fatality, right? Yeah. Um, and one more as well. She'll rip them out, and like we were saying before, you can extend a lot of, this, or you can combo in pretty much every moment. Real quick before you before you finish off Kotal, mm -hmm. um, help help Melina get some meter here. Oh, so we can do her X-ray. Do an X-ray, and also I, I think she has a really cool throw. Oh yeah. Wow, your Kotal is on point. I've never seen such a good Kotal. So her X-ray. Oh, bam. Take a bite out of crime. We'll go ahead and throw him to the end. Damn. Awesome. Yes. Uh, and I think piercing will be kind of the middle ground where she has improved projectile with a low projectile. And then those side combos are going to be really good and your big damaging combos and really stylish too. Right. Absolutely. Oh, you've been rolling in trash? Respect me, human. I'm serious. You smell awful. Round one. Before we start real quick, there's also visual indicators for each of the... Yes. We kind of didn't mention with Melina, which I apologize for. The visual indicators to show you, I mean, obviously it'll tell you in the top what you're playing as, but what is the visual indicator here for Takeda? His ninja mask. Yeah. So what, uh, <clears throat> let's go over his common moves All right. Quick. So commonly, as I said, the bladed whips are a big part of a lot of his normal attacks. He's got some of the best reach in the game, you know. A lot of these normals have huge range, so he gets to play his ground game at a very, very far distance. Mm -hmm. But he still does he still have an up-close game as well? He does, and that's what's cool about him, is these whip attacks have long range, but they're a little bit on the slow side. But then his ninja training kicks in, and he's got some kind of fast ninja-type moves right. if you want to close the distance or if you're stuck up close. So he doesn't he's not only good far away, mm -hmm. he's pretty well-rounded. So then his Universal special moves. He has uh, this torpedo kick, which you can control the distance. You can do it close or medium or far. You can do it in the air. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of options with that, and you can use this to you know close the distances easily. Or you know if you think the opponent's going to do a projectile and you want to get their projectile, mm -hmm. then he has this really cool ninja dagger, which you can use as a projectile or you can use it as a mix-up option, like we were saying, you can do an overhead into this low. Mm -hmm. And the EX one's especially cool. It holds out three and you can charge it, and then you can let it go whenever you want. So you can kind of hold it out. And get in there for some more combo. Potential. Run up to them, or maybe try to threaten them, and then you jump in, or whatever you want to do, and they have to sit there and be scared of the right. EX one. Right. Then his other universal move is this combo starter. It's kind of dash punch. And it's like a combo filler move. You can do it to get some damage. Kind of like a little fist fury. Right? right, and the EX one is a combo starter. So, can you give me a little bit bar? Oh, yeah. That one, pop them up, and then you get a jungle combo. Awesome. Which that was not. That was not, unfortunately. That's the first drop of the day. It surprisingly didn't come from you. <laughs> surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, all the fans are like, can you get someone who doesn't drop combos? Yeah, yeah, I uh, guess we can. Try. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then what's special to this variation? So the Shirayu Takeda, he gets uh, some whip moves that are kind of inspired by Scorpion. He has a grounded one, and then he has a jumping one. Now normally they don't go into combos, but if you do the EX version, he will get a combo. Like you 
she kind of pops up. I didn't up. see the combo. All right, hold on. <laughs> That will give me some meter. There you go. <laughs> Reptile X-ray just real quick. Yeah. And then the really cool thing is the quick phase, which is a teleport. Uh -huh. And it's kind of like scorpions. You just do it. It's a quick teleport. Let's, restart. Yeah, let's restart that match real quick. It's really chaotic. Yeah. This is cra this is one of those kind of really great game types for the guys. Like when you're, ha you're having a party, having the guys over, and you just want to like sit on the couch and play some fun stuff. This can get ridiculous and fun. And it's just you're always laughing. And you stuff. never know what's going to happen. No. which is the best part. And the cool thing that I really like is there's a lot of mod modifiers that aren't just difficult. They actually can help you. Yeah. Right. There's like, more assist. Yes. There's modifiers. a bunch of really fun assist ones. Mm. And we don't have intros to talk to. Oh, yeah, no so intros in touch. Okay, good. Yeah, no intros. 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 <laughs> well, there's more, there's more. There's not more than one. There's only one. Yeah, right. So you can talk us through. We'll, we'll see what these do these Absolutely. Do here too. And they might not necessarily apply to both of you. Yep. Which is one of the other fun things. Test your luck. There's nothing to yell at, Shen. Okay, so portal combat. Portals will randomly appear. Infinite timer, which is good. That'll be fine. Uh, no enhanced specials for you. Okay, great. <laughs> and the curse of sloth. So that little skull that drops down will make one of us slow. Absolutely. All right, cool. So here we go. Ah! Oh, I was catching the combo. Oh, I'm super slow. Oh, I love you can use extra combos out of it too. Oh yeah, because it changes the command. Oh, oh no! Oh god, right into it. Oh, and it didn't do the move! Oh my! <laughs> Oh no! And through a portal! Oh, no. wake up attack. Yeah. Oh, that was badass. Throw Blanche! I missed. No! Come on! Ah, oh, yeah. oh, I put you through the Thank portal! Thank you for helping me. That's right. <laughs> that is so good. Oh. Thank you, Tyler. God. You brought me to another win. That, uh, these don't count. These do not count at all. No, these count. Do they count? These are no, canon. Test your luck counts? It does not no, count. No, just kidding. It doesn't count. Okay, good. Oh, ah. Ooh. Ah. Keep her in the corner. I'm trying. <laughs> no, you jumped away. That's true. Oh. Uh, I wonder uh. if I can block this. Oh, no. That was hubris. Ah. And of course, you can combo off of them. You can block uh, a lot of the modifiers as well, so it's not like it's right. definitely going to happen to you. Oh, portal killed me. That's that's a win. But <sighs> next game mode. Mm -hmm. Which I'm gonna, I'm, a, I'm going to, uh, I have an idea All right. for that. All right. So fire rockets. I'm guessing those are rockets made of fire. Yes. Okay. Okay. Luckily, I don't have any projectiles. So yeah, it would have been awesome to reflect Farah back at you. <laughs> Frost touch. Yes. All right. So here we go. So chaotic, I love it. Uh, and yeah, think about if we had eight of these mods, or seven of uh, these mods. Yeah, it'd be so. awesome. We'll do that after the stream. Crazy. Of course. Uh, Ooh, nice. Do the combo, yeah. Oh, do you have, is it double damage? For both of us, yeah. Oh my goodness, I was wondering how it was doing 50%. Yeah. Oh! And that, that was really fast. Yeah. Look how mad he is, or how, I don't know, how mad or I think, that's, I think he's just excited. Does he have emotions? That's a question. Yeah, he talks. Oh, we just can't good. understand it. Alright, alright. Okay, this is looking perfect. No. This is looking really bad. No, perfect. No, you're lucky. You can still win, it's double damage. You oh. can still win. Tyler, oh, Tyler, oh, Tyler you're missing oh, everything! Oh no. Why would you do that? Because it's awesome! Another victory! Good job. Now. Nah. Okay. Alright. Uh, come on over. Alright. Alright. Right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, what's going on? Oh my. Uh, Whitey! Stop! Brutality. Cassie K. Oh. I'll just control it out. I like to push you across this area. Brutality. Oh. 
come my child, come back to mommy. Feed my children. That's right. Okay. The low pokes in the overhead is just stop. You would think. No. No. He got you in brutality. Oh. It was just more of keeping it to the basics. Is what I like to call it. Block. It hurt my feelings. And throws. Yep. I did a lot of those. You did. Yes. Right. And that's what I call the winning formula, frankly. Right. It was. And we do have another matchup coming up today. Yes, we do. Well, we'll see who who takes home the belt today, Tyler. Well, here we go. My money's on Tyler today. You are a fool. Oh. Oh. So you can imagine, like, if you get in that at the end of a swaggy combo, like, how much a crowd will just blow up. Right? Yeah, you'll be able to, like, that too, because Mortal Kombat is, you know, there, there's, you know, there's, there's the, the great gruesome fatalities, but there's also always a little bit of tongue-in-cheek comedy. A someplace. little humor. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's kind of the thing. And that is what we... Part of Mortal Kombat. Exactly. Before I even worked on it. Oh. oh, I'm gonna need that head back. Ouch. But I'm, yeah, I'm excited to see how the fan. Right? This is like another one where some of the some of the requirements may be just a button mash while you're doing the move. So right. So for this one, for instance, punches his head. Heck yeah. All right. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Blood rains. Okay, now you're strong. Now this can be mean. Alright. Alright. Yeah, some retaliate blood. So they require you to do it as a matter of moves throughout the match. Ooh, I was inside of you there. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what we named the movie. Mortal Kombat X. I am joined by NetherRealm Studios creative director Ed Boone, a close friend of mine. I, I don't know what to say. I've been looking forward to this segment all week. We've got real-time gameplay for Mortal Kombat X on PS4. You guys knocked everybody's socks off last night at the PlayStation press conference. What, what, what's going on with this game? This looks like the craziest one yet. Yeah, it's, it's um, you know, the, the, the last game, you know, to our surprise, was the best-selling Mortal Kombat of all of them. Wow. So, you know, so it's, it just really builds the pressure for us to kind of, you know, top it. And we didn't want to do, uh, like, just kind of reskin the same game with next-gen graphics. So we're taking a really aggressive approach to adding new elements to the game, new gameplay elements, and new characters. Just a ton of new characters are really going to mix things up, as you've seen with some of these uh, crazy over-the-top characters. Now, who's this one here? Yeah, this character's name is Devora. She's like kind of like a half, um, half insect, half human being, and she's got these great stingers that she uses in uh, in combat. So much fun to play, you know. Just all this crazy uh, over the top oh, characters yeah. mixing Co it up. Yeah, Kong. yeah, Devora right there. Uh, you know, and Scorpion's over there. They. What's really cool about the game is we've added this new thing called character variations, which is basically every character in the game has three versions in the game, three versions of that character. Scorpion, you can see here. Then Jitsu here, he, he fights with the swords in, in combat. That's exclusive to that version, whereas Hellfire Scorpion has, like, the, you know, fire, fireballs. He can set himself on fire. Again, exclusive to that version. So as we have three different versions, uh, the Inferno Scorpion summons this demon from all over the place. And uh, it really adds, you know, to all the layering of uh, the games, the variables. So we're really excited about that. Devor is the same thing. I guess they can... Uh, uh, you know, just so, so these introduction of these four new characters is really exciting. Awesome. Tons of new characters. I mean, I saw some crazy name, Cassie Cage. Any, any relation? Yes, Cassie Cage is Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade's daughter. 
<laughs> so yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You heard yeah. it here first. Wow, and, that's and, awesome. Yeah, and so um, so she's cool. She has a combination of uh, Johnny Cage's moves and Sonya's moves. So it's a really uh, a lot of a lot of fun to see her. Play. That's awesome. Now, you guys have been so well-known over the many, many years that Mortal Kombat's been out there, and I've been a huge fan since the very first one. Having this sort of soap opera storyline, where does yeah. this all fit into sort of the mythos and the timeline? Well, it, 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 um, it's actually the story takes place um, over the span of, 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 you know, right after the, the MK9 ended. And then it goes as far as 25 years into the future. Wow. So, you know, you're going to see, you're gonna see okay. some... Uh, aged uh, MK characters. You're gonna see, you know, some next generation stuff, and so it's really, uh, we're really taking a dramatic uh, approach with the story of the game. Nice. Now we got some gameplay going right now, looking great on PS4. I mean, these backgrounds are incredibly dynamic. And, and one thing I think we'll be seeing it soon enough here, I think, is the backgrounds. There's a little bit of interactivity now that we saw last night at the PlayStation press conference. Yeah, there's, there's like, you know, there's a number of places that you can actually leverage yourself. Watch Scorpion. He can actually run up the wall. Awesome. And uh, the characters can kind of use that to position themselves. A lot of what a fighting game is, where am I with relation to the other character? And so this really lets you get to where you want to be a lot quicker. There's just kind of a lot more tools for the player to use. It's really... Uh, really makes the, the, the fighting a lot more movement than the fighting. Very nice. And uh, where is this location now? What are we seeing here in the background? This one's called the Cove, which um, we unfortunately misspelled. We spelled it with a C. But then <laughs> <laughs> it has a number of, uh, you know, these kind of interactive things. But we're, we're, we're excited. You know, you see the C coming. It actually, when it hits the, uh, you know, the, the, the bridge there, uh, every once in a while, a body will be lifted up. You can grab that body and throw it at your opponent. So, so there's a lot of really uh, cool surprises that are happening in this. In this Great. Fight. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's a huge fan of the last Mortal Kombat that came out on PS3. Uh, from a gameplay perspective, I'm still seeing some familiar. Uh, looks like there's a, the energy meters back. Yeah. How have you guys? Have you iterated that at all, or is it? Yeah, we've refined it. You know, I, I, that's one of the things I think that worked out really well with with MK9 or. or 2011 Mortal Kombat is is this meter. You know, you can do so many things with it. You can enhance your special moves. You can do those breakers, break out of a combo. And then, of course, you can do the kind of crazy uh, x-ray moves, which are, you know, kind of become kind of synonymous with Mortal Kombat. You see one right here. Oh! Now, I say this in the nicest possible way. I'm having a very hard time looking at you because I have a monitor in front of me here. Yeah, yeah. And I just, I'm like talking to the monitor. Yeah, it's so hard to take cool. your eyes off this game. That's been a, a hallmark of this series. You yeah. always just want to stare at it because it's so unique. It's so visually stimulating. But uh, when it comes to, yeah, when it comes to the combat here, we're seeing, a, 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 I think, a more fluid sort of approach. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the action and the flow just really, really moves a lot. Some of it is, you know, like we're, we're always making advancements with animation, but again, you know, when, when you have all these um, places in the arena that you can kind of run up and move, you know, just there's like an ebb and flow type of thing that happens more. So it's really, uh, it's, it makes for a lot more fun matches to watch and whatnot. Now, and if my eyes don't deceive me, I think this may be na native 1080p, 60 frames a second. Is that, Pardon me? is this t uh, 1080 Oh yeah, yeah, it's full 1080p, 60 frames a second. Yeah, awesome. we're, we're really excited about that. We always want to keep the game running at um, a high frame rate for, you know, responsiveness. Of course, that. yeah. So, obviously, you guys are, are still early. In, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. You're going to get it. Oh, what do we got here? Oh. I see the gore technology has already come a long way. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And the ending's great, too. <laughs> uh, and the dollop of cream on top of an awesome yeah. fatality. <laughs> wow, this is, uh, this is something else. I, I, I don't even know where to begin. There's so much to talk about. What was your guiding principle, though, coming into this game? I mean, you said you didn't want to just kind of reskin the original Mortal Kombat, but there's definitely a lot of new characters, too. Was that, are we still going to see some of these older characters that we know and love? Yeah, we're, we're certainly going to see, um, um, you know, familiar characters. We're going to see... Um, like Cassie is a descendant of a familiar character. So there's going to be some familiarity, but also a newness involved there. And then we also just want to add new elements, you know, gameplay-wise with the character variations and the environment use, but then also um, just character-wise. We just really want people to say, you know, 
who's the big Hulk with the, the little yeah. lady on his, on his shoulders? You know, we just really want to introduce as much new elements to uh, not to just kind of rest back on, on the old game. So that's a perfect segue. Who is this hulking figure with this rider on his shoulder? It's, it, the, the name of the character is called Ferratore. Farah is the, the little lady on the top. Tor is the big uh, beast. And he actually uses her in a lot, number of ways. He can throw her like a, like a projectile. They work in tandem with each other. So he can make some really cool combos that, that, that involve each other. And um, they're, they're, she, she's kind of like the brains of it, you know, so she's giving them commands. There's a certain vari some variations. She's just running on the ground. Other ones, she's on top of his uh, shoulders. And there's another one where she stabs him and kind of makes him start bleeding, which enrages him, and then he does a lot more damage. It's a great kind of risk-reward type of thing. That's awesome. So I don't want to spoil anything. I know you guys have just revealed this game. Obviously, there was a killer trailer for the game yeah. that came out just a week or two ago. Who's yeah. next, right? Yeah. Then we just saw first gameplay last night, the PlayStation E3 press conference. We're seeing new live gameplay right now. Have you guys revealed, or, or can, is there any information you can provide as to who the big bad is here for Mortal Kombat X? Who the big bad? The big bad is. We, we know who it is, but we're we're not at the point to, to be able to reveal sure. it. It's it's gonna be a um, a fun uh, uh, surprise returning character. Okay. Speak. But uh, so so people won't. Not a lot of people will see it coming. But we're, there's a lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, surprises in story. I see a yeah. twinkle in your eye as you yeah, say that. Yeah. So say no more. Yeah. We want to keep your secrets close to your chest here. But so, can you tell us about the background that we're seeing here? Is this oh, this background is called Outworld Marketplace. You know, it's it's another good example of like the um, the uses that you can have of it. Oh, I can see an X-ray here real quick. <laughs> Ooh. You know, it's got this tarp on the right side there that you can you know Ugh. if you're you can jump up and launch yourself out off of you know, to get over to the other side there. There's this big tiger in the middle that uh, you can jump off of, you know, to kind of get a, position yourself a long jump. Right there, you see it there. And um, and then there's there's this, I, I think she's already been thrown, there's this old lady that we call Blanche that you can grab and throw at your opponent there and uh, she uh, doesn't survive the throw, so. But yeah, this is this is one of our, our brand new uh, environments here, you know. And again, there's a number of uh, interactive uh, things that you can do. I've got to say, Sub Zero looking very dynamic here in Mortal Kombat X, and summoning swords and hammers and and throwing ice clones. At yeah, people. yeah, he's cool. This this, this version of him actually has uh, he actually freezes oh. the guy's entrails here and then jams <laughs> it. <like that. laughs> Nasty. I mean, you guys, I know you guys sit around and, like, dream up different fatalities. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, I, I got to say, like, I mean, were they all nighter sessions on Mortal Kombat X? Because these are the most creative I've seen yet. Yeah, we, we you know, we have these fun meetings that are, that are, um, and here's a good fatality. Oh fatality, you know, somebody says, you know, I want to grab somebody's spine and break it, lift them up in the air and split them in half. So it's... Ah. Nice little nod to Mortal Kombat 3, say yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah, very so, nice. So you know we have these meetings and everybody comes up with ideas and the ones that 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 people say there's no way we can do it, those are the first ones we start working on. So Okay, I think we're just about out of time. Ed Boone, so, so happy you could join us here. Mortal Kombat X looking phenomenal. Up next, we're gonna check out the trailer. Stay tuned, we're gonna have Dark Batman Arkham Knight. Don't miss it. I tire of maintaining our innocence. I will relieve you of your burden. You offend this one, Thera. What ladybug do about it? Exterminate. Fight. <laughs>
fatality. PlayStation. We're going to go to them and not talk through their intro screens. We will try not to talk through their intros. Go ahead. Okay. We got a little time. We got, we got a bit of a low screen. Let's do it on the, uh, let's do Snow Forest. Well, that's all you, buddy. That is all me. All right. My bad, everybody. And it's actually the Deadwoods. The Deadwoods. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Deadwoods. Like we said before, not everything is final. Right. No. Yeah. No. Living Forest, Deadwoods. Makes sense. Yeah. There we go. Uh, uh so nope. Don't <laughs> stop talking. Uh -oh. We have fought before, Constant. The memory is gone. Round one. Five. All right. Now, let's go ahead and start with, uh, like we've talked about before, mm -hmm. every single Mortal Kombat character, you still have that flavor that's always been there with characters, and each variation adds a little, little touch to yeah. it. So let's talk about the stuff they share within. Exactly. So, uh, common moves with Katana, her probably most signature moves in the series are fan toss. There we go. Yeah. Uh, that one's really effective. You do the EX version, you get a double fan toss. Uh, and you can also do an air version of that. Uh, the air version is one of her core moves, especially for combos, because it suspends mm -hmm. characters in the air for a little while. Absolutely. Uh, you know, that's kind of some classic kind of combo building, right. uh, if you will. You also got your fan lift. Uh, uh, big combo starter for, for Kata. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, you know, You'll notice it's visually changed, too, from like the MK9 yeah, mm -hmm. and the classic fan lift. It actually looks more like a, a tornado or yeah, a vortex. Yeah, I really like the style on that. Yes. yes. Uh, so that one's uh, really effective. We're, uh, we are in Royal Storm right Royal now. Royal Storm right now, yeah. yeah. That one actually has a little bit different variation. Of Which we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to yeah, that exactly. part. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's this one will look a little bit different if you see. What and like we talked with Spiro as well, mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to telling characters apart, mm -hmm. this version has the uh, glowing sticks. The glowing sticks in her hair and yep. it's maskless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, let's go through some other shared moves. Sure. She's got her, uh, she's got her, oh, we got the, the hover, I guess, yeah, the little hover flow. move. Uh, that move is deceptively complex and uh, really useful, because not only can you use it to dodge projectiles when you're across the screen from someone, but you can also follow up with attacks afterwards. Right. So you can do things like jump in and So I can do, float. like... Float, yeah. Exactly. Or, you know, you can attack and then float and then, and right. then attack. There's a ton of possibilities. So yeah, it definitely can kind of trick the opponent into mm -hmm. thinking you're going to land, mm -hmm. you don't land. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, yeah, a lot of utility in that one. Uh, uh, we also have... We the fan, yeah. yeah. That move is uh, very good anti-air. Mm -hmm. uh, you can meter burn, of course, to get the you know extra damage out of that one as well. Um, I like to use it when I get knocked down. Mm -hmm. I like to use it kind make of a wake of attack. attack. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Just yeah. want to make sure everybody saw his X-ray again. Yeah. yeah. So this is what happens. Yeah. Just want to. It's your contribution. Well, you yeah. know, I, I didn't have much to say there for That's a second, right. so right. I figured I would just impose it. Okay. Oh, let me mention something real quickly before I forget. Uh, all that concept art you just saw on the stream, if you look at NetherRealm's Twitter right now, our community manager, Rigo, has put up a link to our Tumblr page so you can tear apart the stuff even more. Yes, so, <laughs> Which we're excited about. Am I uh, forgetting anything else for common specials? There's one more uh, that's new, a little new. We got a... Uh, oh, yeah, the throat slice. Throat slice. Yeah. That moves really fast. It's a really good combo in there. Yeah. Can, you can uh, meter burn for a little bit more damage. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's it, that one's a good all-around, like... You know, I'm finishing off our juggle, I want to threaten space kind of at mid-screen. It comes out so fast that you kind of always have to be watching out for it. So yeah, you can definitely, like, I, I like to use the enders and such, like this, which Tyler, I missed, yeah. so whatever. Tyler, don't show off all your goods. Sorry, yeah, yeah, I need to yeah, stop doing come that. Come on, come on. But and we also talk, you know, those who don't play fighting games a lot, um, there's, a, there's a term we use called footsies. Yes. And footsies is kind of a way to always be sort of, like, in the range where your best move is right near them. So mm -hmm. this move... Her, her, that, the, the, this move right there is great when you're just yeah. at mid screen trying to fake them out a little bit and then boom. Yeah, if you can predict where they're going to be, that's a very yeah. dangerous move. You can threaten and if they're trying to back dash yeah. on you, you can easily catch them there. Exactly. A lot of utility for that move. Now let's kind of go into Royal Storm's mm. differences. Yeah, Royal Storm is probably my favorite trait of uh, all three of hers. Which I think is funny because oh, yeah. everyone was always like, oh, well, there'll just be one trait everybody likes. Yeah. 
absolutely untrue. Because uh, yeah. you were like, you like Royal Storm. Yeah, you like one of the other ones. My favorite is Assassin. Yeah. Like that, because that's sort of how I like to play. Yeah. Although I've found matchups mm -hmm. where I like using Royal Storm. Exactly. So. Exactly. It, it's. I think the reason I like this one so much it has so much utility. Mm -hmm. There's uh, all of her new moves in this one kind of have a lot of really different functions. And so, uh, like, it's the first one you can show is the new family. So that like, one has additional range. Right. right. I can get regular. I can get about mid screen. Mm -hmm. But if I'm full screen. And I EX it, yeah. it is a full screen. And then from across the screen, you can be throwing fans, yep. air fans, follow up on combos, all sorts of options. So that's super effective. Then you have the square wave. Right. Uh, which is yeah, square wave attack. Great for getting in or also getting away. Yep. Uh, uh, I'd say this, this version of her has the most airborne moves. She yep. has the, the float, she's got the square wave in the air, she's got the fan toss. A lot of combos that way. I would say this move really controls mm -hmm. the controls everything above you. Yeah. Very, very exactly. Good. She's very threatening if uh, you jump. You don't, you don't necessarily want to jump yeah. mindlessly. She also has this, um, which Derek, I believe, I picked somebody without a projectile. Picked a character uh, without a projectile. Okay. Well, we, yeah. can, we can kind of. Don't apply. worry, we'll see it later. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This this is one of the best reflects I've ever seen in a fighting yeah. game. So you can actually hold it down. Yeah. So if like so you were talking earlier to me about Cassie Cage. Yeah, Cassie Cage has a uh, EX gunshot move. Uh, has multiple projectiles. You don't just reflect one. You can reflect all three back and right. keep holding it or timing correctly. And uh, yeah, it's any character that is throwing multiple attacks at you that are projectiles. You right. can be incredibly dangerous across the screen. So this whole build could be kind of effective as a zoning build, right? If you're you know throwing different kinds of projectiles out and uh, bouncing stuff back. Mm -hmm. I like to use it as like an anti-zoning build. So if someone's trying to just stay away from me, I my build, you mean variation? Yeah, variation. Right. Sorry. No uh, yeah. So I can use a variation. This variation to say no, you can't just stay away from me. You have to come at me, and then I'm controlling the game. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, and as you can see, in the corner we have Goro. We are not going to select him today. Mm -hmm. I know that will disappoint some people. Oh, well, we at least put him on screen. For Snap. Yeah. So here she has some jade-esque moves. Now yeah. we talked about the fans earlier. Yeah, exactly. So. We said she had some projectile variations mm -hmm. one or the other. This one uses uh, the glaive right. jade. Uh, and you can throw that out straight. You can also uh, tilt the move up and down uh, right. and get and hit the targets above or targets below. Oops. Up and there we there go. go. There it is. Yeah. So you can throw, throw that low, throw that high. Um, but you can also do an airborne version as well. So you can kind of you control space a little bit differently. You don't have as much horizontal control, but you control the significant right. portion of the screen with that horizontal yeah. uh, air blade. Right. Uh, you also have a very effective uh, version of that in the meter burn version that is active for a really long time. There you bring yeah. it right back to you. Exactly. So in far away, you can get combos. When they're a little bit closer, people right. have to deal with that for a long time. It's on the screen for a long time. So yeah. great way to control space and keep the person locked down that you're trying right. to. So basically, the, a lot of the same properties as Jade from MK9. Exactly. So if you were familiar with her in MK9, it, there's not a lot of differences here. Yeah. yeah. And the, uh, mm -hmm. the air version of that also has the boomerang effect, uh, which is, I think also starts you a knockdown. Yeah, I don't have meter right now. I just do a little trick here. Uh, there just, we go. Just press as many buttons as possible. Yeah, so yeah. <clears throat> not in the final yeah. game, and I'm missing. It helps if you hit too. Yeah, it really yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's down to knock. I'm not very good at that either. Yeah. Yeah. You learned that I'm not either. Yeah. Uh, we also have. Yeah. We have this. Yeah, the, the grab from her uh, staff. I almost not call it a grab. It's on the block. Right. Uh, Oh. oh, there we go. Remember, it's an X-ray. X-ray yeah. for Jay. And we want to show off everything of yep. Katana's, even the X-ray. Mm -hmm. Right. When you least expect it. My bad, everybody. I'm going to so, give yeah. you that round. You, you, Thanks. You, you, you Thanks a lot. So that's a really good, uh, another good combo ender. Uh, you can also, yeah. Uh, yeah, the meter burn version. That you'll mm -hmm. extra damage. And a very painful one. Oh. And she also has a shadow kick here, which is exactly. also... Yeah, keep pressure up. Yeah, so if you're if you're a fan of Jade and some of her play style, then you can pull a little bit of that back mm -hmm. in. That's who you like in K9. There we go. Yeah. So that is uh, those are all the sort of variations of Katana. You'll be seeing them a little bit later because Derek and I have our battle coming very soon. Whew, I'm excited. Before then, though, we'd like to go and show you some reptile. Some reptile. Which yes. You're going to do some of the. The last of a forgotten race. Your last memory will be of teeth. Round one. Fight. Now, 
All right. It's worse when you talk about not talking. Right. When you're not supposed to talk. <laughs> that was that was hard. All right. So with reptile, you'll notice a, a lot of his uh, returning moves. He's got the force ball, which he has a, a fast one, and he has a slow one. Uh, he also, which is pretty pretty cool with this, is he can do. Hold on, let me see if I can get. Uh, type, never mind, Tyler. Sorry. Just keep it <laughs> Uh, he's got the slide when he's yep. returning. He has an EX slide, which is a lot faster, full screen, and has armor. Mm -hmm. He's got his spit, of course, that returns, but he can EX it and make ah. actually a pool of uh, acid spit, which does like damage over time while you're in it. He has a new overhead claw, mm -hmm. and the return of the dash, the, the zippy speedy run, mm -hmm. right? Because he also has that other overhead. And he also has yeah. that. Yeah. He has that across all variations. Yeah. Um, and uh, what's also great about it is the EX versions. Oh, uh, let me get some meter here. Stay back so I don't do like an X ray accidentally. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Is um, the EX versions do pop up. So you can extend your combos off of those as well. So you can do. And then follow up with slide or whatnot, but regardless is that he can pretty much add that two and one into almost anything, mm -hmm. meter burn it, and uh, do a pop. Yeah, really useful for a lot of his pokes and things like right. that. Right. Yeah. And then with this, you can actually stop the ball that Tyler just walked into Sorry. Yeah. to create a just cage your opponent in, right? Well, what are you going to do, Tyler? What are you going to do? Jump up. Yeah. That's what he's going to do. Um, and that's, that's across all variations. And then he actually has uh, EX versions of each one of them, so see that how fast so that fast ball is. is. And the slow ball is super slow, right? It's like, it's oh! coming for you! <laughs> awesome, yeah. Um, and so that's pretty much a lot of his common moves. What's great about Reptile is his uh, combos, for the most part, don't change across all variations. So if you learn his main combo strings, it, it carries over across all variations, and his main change is uh, what you want to utilize. Yeah. So with Deceptive, he can. Oh no! I can't do it. The right button? Yeah, it's the right button. There you uh, go. Yeah. So if you hold the button down, he'll go completely invisible. If you just do the uh, the normal attack, you'll actually just see like the silhouette of him, just like that. And if you hold it down, he'll go completely invisible. <laughs> or if you do the EX version, he'll go invisible instantly. And then it's where am I, Tyler? Where am I? There you are. That's right. <laughs> And so, well, should I? No, we'll, we'll wait till later. You might not be able to do it later. <clears throat> I will. I'm pretty sure I will. So that's basically what he has for Deceptive. All right. So we'll move on to what I like to call the stinky variation. King Reptile. Tear your flesh. <laughs> so it's a goer. Round one. <laughs> All right. So now you'll notice that he has this uh, gas around him. As you're standing right next to me, you're taking damage instantly, right? So if I'm doing combos and you're close to me or I do a throw, you're going to take that additional damage just because of this variation. It never goes away. Never goes away, right? He's always gassing. Um, then, of course, he, he can do uh, a, a normal command for it, which creates a larger cloud that does more damage. And you can do an EX version. Which is like his entire body is a giant. Yeah, What's that health bar? Yeah, it goes. So, yeah, it's just chip, 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 chip. Yeah. So if you, no, yeah, you knock me down, stand above me with that going, you know, or, I'm losing damage. Or get you into a corner and just do some corner combos, like. Yeah. And that stacks just, on top of the uh, the acid pool, so correct. you can be getting damage. Uh, you know, you can be doing damage over time with additional damage over time. Double the damage, yes. double the fun. Yeah, yep. double the time. Very dangerous in a corner. Yep. Yes, definitely. So that that's the main difference for this variation. Because mm -hmm. he has so many special moves that carry across <laughs> all variations, right? And so many of them launch and you can set up combos and so many options. Yeah. Right. So let's go to our final variation. It's actually something I like about him. If you are a little intimidated by the all the variations that these characters have. It's like, oh, I'm going to learn combos for each. Reptile's a good character. It's like, well, I'm going to learn this one character, and I'm going to have a stable of uh, tools that I have access to. They will, but but my core character is the same, and I can still you know, get really new with them. So. We'll, we'll work differently oh. against different people. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. absolutely. Let's do this one again. And you'll notice that I have a nice little snake belt. Mm -hmm. I like to dress up in my nimble stance or variation. Hashtag snake belt? Hashtag 
tags. Does that already exist? I don't think so. Yeah. There's snake no, shoes. No, there, there are. Right? Yeah. 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 Oh. We must work together. First, I test your strength. I know your weaknesses. Round one. So Kotal and Reptile want to work together. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting thing that just happened there. So, with the Nimble, uh, this is, I'm going to say, is probably my favorite one. Um, is, look at this. You just, oh no! Yeah. I'm, here I am, naturally just dropping <laughs> everything. You don't even have to land a combo when you get it though. That's how, that's how intense that is. Look yeah, so he can continue bouncing you and bouncing you. Oh, right, right. And he gets faster, the opponent gets slower. It's like he's using his heightened agility and enhanced senses to control the battlefield. Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. So um, with that, naturally, you can do a whole bunch of different setups and combos that normally would not connect. Yeah. And that variation, and when you have that active, will. Yeah, that so. was it like for example that flip king combo that he has. Uh, yeah, that, that guy. So that one normally can't combo off of it, but if you have the you know, heightened agility mm -hmm. active, you can actually you know continue a combo off of that. Uh, and so that, that, for the most part, is the main differences in each of uh, Reptile's variations. Excellent. I gave kind of the accelerated versions there. Sure, and they, and they, <laughs> they, and they all, and, you know, all play very differently. All yes, play, yeah. you know, there'll be some that might be tech, too technical for some, some that are easy for others. It's a very, yeah. There's a lot of variation there for how you play as a player, or mm -hmm. even your skill level, which is yeah. great. Yeah. Like, I think Reptile is a character that can be played by a lot of players, mm -hmm. regardless of skill level. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, but for some reason, you didn't want to play him. That's why you picked Katana. I chose Katana because 16-bit uh, was my teacher. Oh, yeah, that's that. Oh, okay. And I wanted to learn from him. And you learned, you're fine. We, uh, we want to take a little time now if we could uh, answer a few questions um, from the stream. <sighs> we are no longer friends. Oh, man, you saw it coming. So yeah, that variation, really good for kind of locking down a lot of the options for a battle has. Oh, you never showed the EX, uh, the EX dash, I think really effective too. Good for me. 
Still in it. Let's wake up. and 50 cents closer to winning. Or, yeah, yeah. Start right. that doesn't, that's not yeah. how it works. Can I get Who's half of the $5 for? bill now? Oh, man. Gruesome. You right. just want, you, did you want to pick a different one? Or you just want to go with this? Pick a different one. Go back to Assassin? Yep. That's, that's always the tough challenge. Do you, do you play the matchup or do you play yourself? I don't, you know? I, I'm, uh, yeah, I thought I was going to win that. I, I did really well the first round. Yeah. Go for it. I feel like I have to root for design. Thank you. But also, I want to keep it competitive. You know, I, no, like, to, no. I like to see. I like a close match. You have to root for design. Man, yeah. yeah, you really don't have a choice. All right, scoot over. No, get away from me. <laughs> Return to court. Outworld was never my home. The con demands it. Round one. The con. Fight. Oh, we get to see that uh, little reptile tongue poke. Oh, oh man. They're, they're getting a little carried away. Oh, oh man, armor on armor. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. Come on, okay. man. You gotta convert, though. You gotta Tyler officially out. has attacked. That's why you have to be careful with that assassin guy. Oh, oh. We you saw the branch it. coming. Branch, not Blanche. Branch. Very good use of zoning. What? Oh, man. Round Damn it. Two. <laughs> oh. Well. Yeah, I mean, I've got to convert. Yeah, my combo's not doing too well. Oh. Let's catch. You gotta be careful being up on them though with that notch because it's causing damage, just you put yeah. pressure on them. Yeah. Very good for going over projectiles. Oh, let's get close. I'm just gonna sit here and let my stank do its work, man. Oh man. Come get me. Take some more damage. Yeah. Oh man. No control. Now you gotta keep your distance. Ah! Oh, man. oh this belt comes home! Yeah, that feels right. Who is this going to now? That's, I believe. That's... Stay in the design department. That's right. All right, well, uh... Destination, dead ahead. Set her down nice and easy for me. Don't I always? If by always you mean not once. Major? You have the rendezvous coordinates, far into the forest. From there, we access the portal to Raiden's Sky Temple. 
where there's an angry former elder god and his devils waiting for us. Gods, portals, flying demons. Blind guys with magic swords. <laughs> the world has changed. For the worse, if we do not expel Shinnok from Raiden's temple. He means to poison Earthrealm's life force, the Jinsei. And we're not gonna let that happen. Kenshi and I appreciate the Major allowing us to join you. We're happy to help kick Shinnok's bony ass back to the Netherrealm. Getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't you? shot of that. Gotta get back to the chopper. Sonia, get out of there! unpleasantly cold. Mittens. <laughs> 
I liked it better when we fought on the same side. <coughs> you okay? We fared better than the men. Add him to the list of things Shinnok will answer for. The end is near. Getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't you? Gotta get back to the chopper. <clears throat> Whew. That was unpleasantly cold. I liked it better when we fought on the same side. 